All right, we're back again. Welcome again. <laughs> I can't get away from tonight. There is so much fucking drama happening. What is going on, dude? What is happening? Where is Xyli? I need Xyli right fucking now. Where is she? <laughs> Where is Xyli? Where is Xyli? Where is Xyli? There she is. Where is she? Xyli, where the fuck are you? <laughs> what, what stream are you in? <laughs> where are you? Hold on, I'm actually gonna call her. Oh, Xyli, come on. Xyli, where are you? What is happening? What? Alright. Alright. Xyli will join me eventually. This is this has been a long fucking day, guys. This is a long this is a long stream, bro. I need Xyli right now. I need Xyli. I need her to fill me in on what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Where is she? Uh, what is happening? I had such a great interview with Pac God, a great stream about leg, and now I'm dealing with a dentist situation. What is happening? I'm seeing stuff about Craig Beckett today. I'm seeing stuff about all... Xylee, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is... And, and, can you believe... Excuse me, my, um, my news team is trying to disrupt me right now. Pumpkin. Oh, Pumpkin. you have a news team? You have a news team? Yeah, or my... is it the cats? My cats. The cats, okay. They're my news team. Because everybody else has a new team and I don't. Pumpkin. You can be a part of my news team, Xylee. <laughs> Um, excuse me, I, no, 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 okay, you stop that shit right now, okay, hold on, make sure I'm not gonna show anything. There's no, right. no thumbnail, nothing, I just went fucking live again, oh well. <laughs> okay. Um. What is happening? Then, okay, well, I'm gonna show you, that way you can stream it to them and show them, okay? Alright, let me switch. Um, alright. There we are. All right, let's take a look at this. All right, I need the timeline of events of what the fuck is going on right now. <laughs> you know, I've got to go to your stream so I can see your chat, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's a sexy boy right there. Yeah. Uh, wait, why am I? Okay. Um. All right. Wait, did you just call yourself a sexy boy? Hell yeah, I did. Also, thank you for the ten dollars defamation noodles. TLDR for Def Noodles, Cavo added Dennis to box in the ring, but Dennis instead wants a street fight, no regulations, basically wants Cavo's dead. What? Yeah, what? it's right here. I'm sharing it with you. Go and sh go I'm into looking at it. I'm, I'm looking sharing. at it. I'm looking at it. Hold on, hold on, hold okay. on. So Cavo's, an hour ago, went under Def Noodles yeah. and was trying to get him, like, I have no interest in boxing you. If you're really just desperate to fight, I'll book a flight to England tomorrow and be out there in a week so we can do it in the sh do it in the street. And he goes, you have no interest in boxing a big card but would rather fly to England just so I can beat your ass? Makes no sense. All right. So then he says, I have no interest in boxing you in the ring. If you want to fight, this is my final offer. I will book a flight tomorrow fly out within the week meet you at a mutually mutually agreed street to murder you what? this is my final offer no you're then fucking he, with me you're fucking with me no i'm not and then cavo said i get a bigger fight that i can i can get a bigger fight than you mate but me and you would make a good storyline stop being a goon and fight me in the ring like a man deaf noodle says Get your bag then. I'm not stopping you. As I said, if you want to fight me, this is how it's going to happen. I don't need a boxing ring, a commission, a ref, or anyone to regulate a fight when my goal is to literally end your existence. <laughs> is he, he has to be joking. There's no way. This, this is like, this is like a uh, comic book villain art. And then Cabos is like, so you can't do that in a ring because you know you would lose. So I go back 
And I believe this is where I quit. You know what? Let me just go to my. I'm okay. fucking dying. Mixie and Tips are up Okay, no idea. first of all, um, defamation noodles in the chat. This was fucking hilarious. Defamation noodles went definite deaf noodles to Cabos. And where is I'm coming to kill you! <laughs> or in the ring. No, in real life. I'm going to stalk him and become obsessed with him and wear his makeup and his dresses and use his skin as a coat like the ancient Irish did. I love the Sam Vine so much. Okay, so then, and you can't believe it, guess who replied to me? Steven replied to me. <gasps> Steven! I know! Okay, so I quote tweeted the I have no interest in boxing you tweet. Right. And I said, okay now, sir. You and Splithmation are out here talking craziness. I get acting tough, but I mean, this is a little much, don't you think? <laughs> and by the way, Hannah got blocked by Steven. Yeah, I saw she DM'd it to me, and I was like, oh, what the f I was mid-interview with a major situation that nobody's talking about, and now- Steven blocked me. <laughs> oh, he blocked you too? I can't read what he said. Oh shit, I can't. I'll tell you off stream my plan for Steven, so. I'll tell you. I'll tell he you something. He blocked me. Oh. But I said, oh, you responded to me. Dude, no one is talking about murdering people but y'all. The way y'all talked on your podcast compared to here on Twitter, y'all are really taking this internet shit ser way too serious. There is no fucking way that this he is happening. He blocked me. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought we were friends. Sorry, I have to. Um, what is it? Okay. Bex, one of uh, Salvo's, Salvo's people's in the chat right now. And Steven blocked her too. <laughs> Buddy, I thought we were friends. Bro, no, he, Pumpkin, he, he blocked me. He ain't friends with you. I thought we were going to be great friends. This is this I'm is I'm so amazing. sad. Well, hold on. To answer the Alex uh person in the chat, uh why does everyone get blocked by Steven? Uh cuz Steven's a paperback thin bitch. That's why. Well, he's why. just now he's just now doing it. He's just now yeah. Brian, oh, not right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Has there been any other updates to this? Like, what the fuck is actually going on with him? You still there, Ziley? Yeah. You know, I'm trying to answer that question. Um. Because right now I just saw him tweet 48 minutes ago. Look, bro, I already offered you to fly to your country and broadcast on your channel. I have an interest in boxing in the ring. There isn't anything else I could do for that. Like I said, take it or leave it. I have better shit to do than keep this back and forth going. Bro, you were the one that threatened Cavos. <laughs> Cavos said, what planet are you on? You think you're Kimbo Slice or something, you delusional cunt? <laughs> Dude, this is, this is the best part. This is the best part of all of this, right? Cavos. Oh, by the way, did you see what uh, he tweeted at Hannah? Who? St Steven. No. Oh, he said something about... Um, Comparing her to a slave master. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. Also, there's a couple of things by Discord. Because I saw it was happening. And, you know, Punk God was about to be on. And I was like, fuck. I can't, I can't go over the dentist thing right now. So I need people to screenshot shit, like, right now. Um, let's see. I got... Uh Oh, screenshot. Is this the one? I have no interest in boxing in the ring. I already saw that. Don't care about the he stick bug. Be. Go get your bag then. Xyli already said that. Um, literally offered to fly to your country within a week and mutually agreed upon spot. That is so fucking ridiculous that he's doing this. Every single fight Kimbo Slice fought in the streets was way more entertaining <laughs> than all the Mayweather fights put together. Boxing has nothing on street fights. If you fight in the street because I want to make your eye fall out of your head. Bro, Dennis does not like Cavos. I wonder why. <laughs> well, gee, I don't know. Maybe because he made him cry? I, I don't know. This is the greatest night of my this life. This is Cavos' fault. I'm just saying. I tweeted at Cavos. You saw it. I was like, Cavos, this is your fucking fault. And he responded and goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. I have to tweet that my heart is broken. Yeah, this is, this is a... This, wait, did Steven block me? Because I've been talking mad shit on Steven. Yo, he blocked me too! <laughs> Steven! Oh, come on. I had a, You know what? Since he blocked me, I'm not going to be able to get this down. Um, I'm just going to say it right here and now. Um, I had somebody trying to get a hold of Steven, and we were trying to trick him into an interview. Um, and then I was going to try and bring Salvo on. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Salvo never answered my DM, which is usual, but like I was really fucking trying to get Steven on because I have a lot to say to Steven. Um Oh, I finally broke down to Salvo uh what my theory was. Uh, he goes, What's your theory? You know? Oh, and, and you I guessed told it. him. <laughs> and he didn't say any he didn't say anything, so that told me I was right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you're right. You fucking guessed it. Um I, I, listen, it's it's called Okay, hold on. I'm hold sorry, on. I can't do two things. Anymore. Allison and Vid in the chat right now. I need the two of you to try and land me an interview with Steven. I need it now. Please. I'm begging you. Do you know how desperate I am? Look how close I am to the fucking screen. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to get me an interview with Steven. Somebody do it. Uh, Caddy, imagine going back in time to tell Calvos what he's done. Honestly, Calvos would not believe us. <laughs> Imagine if we did a Back to the Future, Xylee. It was me and you, and we stopped it on Salvo. Tell me, <laughs> stopped it on Cavos. Tell me why Matt Pitt retweeted your truth about leg, and he goes, truth about what? Yeah, I know. He made a fucking leg joke. <laughs> Does Mixie and Tipster have no idea what's going on right now? No, they're they, they're in an interview. Oh, guess what? I'm going to ruin it right now. Why are you ruining their – don't ruin their interview. I want to jump in and let them know what's happening. You know what? Um, Fine, I'll just DM no. Minxie. I'll just DM Minxie. DM Minxie. Don't ruin her interview, you asshole. Speaking of assholes, hey, my baby bunk. Hey, hey everybody. That's my cue. Bug. That's me. Bug, 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 bug. Yo, we, we need the talk. Up? We need the talk. Because Revzilla about? said that you should go to Dennis's show, and I'm kind of inclined to go with you if you're going. <laughs> Bro, do you, hold on. Where is this Where is this show? Isn't Dennis in like LA or some shit? Yeah, bro, I'll pay for yeah. the flights. Dude, if you pay for the flights, I might be able to go. It's like 200 bucks to LA. I've already checked. <laughs> You've already checked. Holy shit, dude. You put, how, wait, Look, when is this thing happening? Bunk. Friday. Chris has made a money. He was going to pay for me. I was. I was going to donate all my street. I was going to donate all my donos and everything to Xylee to fly out there. I was literally about to do it. And then Xylee was like, oh, I can't do it. So that's Friday. Have, 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 no, I was thinking about it, but it's already sold out. So I was thinking about me and you for the next one or the one after that. That's what I was thinking. Cause oh, when's the next one? Friday. Um, oh, no, no. There's um, He's doing it like every two weeks. Yeah, so. Oh, so he's going to keep doing this. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> I... Holy shit. Bug goes, oh, I shit, want he's to crash. doing this. He's, he's just doing this, dude. He's actually doing it. Wow. <laughs> well. Did you see on Twitter he's where confident, he. confident. I'll give him that. <laughs> Did you see he's on determined. Twitter? determined. Did you see on Twitter where he uh, literally threatened Kavos' life, saying he will murder him and end his bug, existence? Bug, you, if you oh haven't seen that on Twitter, you're, hold on, Xylee, show Bug. No, I want to see what I Bug has to say. You need to see it. You need to see it. I'm excited. Okay, hold on, hold on. Dude, he literally threatened Kavos to fist fight him in the streets and knock his eye out. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Oh hold God. on. Here. Oh, my God. Bug's not going to believe this. <laughs> No, oh my! I have no interest in boxing you in the ring. If you want to fight, this is my final offer. I will book a flight tomorrow, fly out within the week, and meet you in a mutually agreed street to murder you. Oh, this no, is it my gets better. Final offer. This, it gets better. It gets better. So here he is, right here. Go <laughs> get your bag then. I'm not stopping you, as I said. If you want to fight me. Yeah, this is how it's gonna happen. I don't need a boxing ring, a commission, a ref, or anybody to regurg uh, regulate a fight when my goal is literally to end your existence. Dude, he's out what here. What a guy. Yeah. Allison, yeah. I can't. Guy, Allison, dude. I can't see your tweets because Steven blocked you think me. He, you think he's gonna <laughs> box him with the cat ear headphones on? <laughs> you think he's gonna get blood splatter on the cat ear headphones? I mean, that would be interesting. Dude, it would I mean, be just saying. It'd be so funny if Cavos flew out to LA, went to go fight Dennis, and James Charles is in the background going, Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. This is happening right now, Bunk. I was in the middle of an interview with somebody who had a almost 500k channel stolen from them. And then I'm getting DMs, and they're like, Bro, do you need to see what's happening with Dennis and Cavos? Oh boy! <laughs> Bunk. What the? My fuck? heart.
heart is broken. Steven blocked me. I thought we were beginning a friendship. Yeah, Steven, um, Dennis's boyfriend blocked me too, Bunk. You want to check if you're blocked? <laughs> oh, Bunk's boy. Bunk's probably what's, not what's blocked. Bunk hasn't talked well, shit. Uh, no, Bunk, Bunk has definitely. I feel like he's been blocking anybody. Let's see okay, here. Okay, hold on. What's this, uh, what's this account? Send it to me in DMs. Let's, let's check this shit out. It's, uh, if you still have him, try to get him on the interview. I was trying to trick him into one bunk. Oh, boy. Where is it? I just DM'd oh, Spliff it to you. Spliff Nation. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. Spliff uh, underscore Nation. Are you blocked, bunk? I'm not blocked. Do you I'm want not to blocked troll a little person? bit? Is the MF Doom on the mic? <laughs> Yeah, you want to you want to troll a little bit, Buck? <laughs> Share your okay. Hold on. Well, your... I want to engage in a little bit of tomfoolery. Come on, Buck. Engage in some tomfoolery. I want to see it All happen. Right. At, I'm gonna at tweet him this. I'm gonna put a period <laughs> there so it appears for everybody. Show Cliff nation. Share the screen, Buck. Share the screen, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this happen live. Okay, hold on. Okay, I gotta think. I gotta think. This is really good. What does this guy do? Can you uh, give me some he's a comedian. This guy? So he's a comedian and a co-host on Dennis's um, podcast. He doesn't understand anything about the internet. He had to be explained who David Dobrik, James Charles, and all these people are. He doesn't know how the internet works. But he's been threatening to fight people on the internet. Like, he literally said, I'm black and I have a gun to us to that's, salvo that's funny that's funny <laughs> that makes me laugh <laughs> hold on okay we got to see this screen bro it's all black there we go let's go <laughs> bugs got an idea <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're gonna get blocked. I'll, I'll edge you. Oh, you should have added I have a gun too. <laughs> Allison, I'm sorry. This is too funny to stop. This is too funny to stop. I'm the same person with a lethal weapon. Oh my weapon. god. Bug's gonna get flagged. Bug's gonna get flagged. <laughs> I know, Allison. I, I don't know if we can even do this. I, I don't even know if we can do this. I'll be honest. Oh, Addo, even Ad30 got blocked. 80, 30, 80, blocked. 30 got blocked. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Bug, I can't breathe. We, we I can't, can Bug. do this. Bug, I can't breathe. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. If, if he responds, I'm gonna tell him to take me on verbal warfare and like this Fuck, I can't. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> now, this is a challenge. This is for honor and glory. We will take ass and kick names. Yo, yo. <laughs> 8030's in the chat. He's fucking laughing his ass off. <laughs> All right, listen. I don't. I don't condone harassment, but that was funny. Of course. <laughs> now, um, I did just got. Well, listen. Um, at the time that I told him that there, nobody's threatening anybody lives except for y'all, that at that time the tweet was correct. It was. Okay? But listen. Bunk's doing it as a meme. Bunk's doing it as a meme. <laughs> listen, okay. I like. He just. He just doesn't want to face the reality that I lift more than him. <laughs> Oh, is that what it is? He doesn't understand. He that doesn't motherfucker. Get it. How dare he? I'm gonna take my likes away from that. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, where did he say that I'm black and I have a gun? He said it he said it to Salvo. So um let Hold me find on. that let me find that oh, tweet thread. Matt Pitt is such a motherfucker. Uh, what did Matt say? Him. What did Matt say? I put my tweet out, said my heart is broken. I thought we had a budding friendship. Someone please patch my heart. And it showed where he blocked me. Matt Pitt shows a fucking sandstorm. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. Wait, something with a wait. One -legged man. 80 30, you got blocked because you just asked him. All my tweet to him was, why do you want to fight people at a roast battle? That's all you asked? And he blocked you, bro? 
Where's I'm black and I have a gun? That is um, the funniest okay, part. I, I, I think I quote tweeted it. Oh no, yeah, I think I quote tweeted it before he blocks you. Um, I'm going if I can to find go it. to his Twitter advanced search. Here we go. Um, um bu -bu 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 from bu -bu -bu -bu. this account, all of these words black and gun. Yeah, I was about to say before he blocks you. I'm black and I and got a gun. Now he sees it. Now Bug sees it. <laughs> What are you going to say, <laughs> Bug? That's towards Salvo. Salvo's response was funny. You should see underneath it. Oh, my goodness. This is... I, there are two things, and both of them are highly racially charged. No. Uh, I want to reply with either, um, so what? You're not killing us. <laughs> <laughs> bug. Bug, be careful. Bug, be careful with that. Or, or I want to say... <laughs> A truly deadly combination. Bug, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful. And both of these things are, are both things that I should not say, but I want to. Did he block you yet? I feel like he would by now. I he hasn't. He hasn't blocked oh, me. Oh, that's I'm good. Still blocked. That's good to know. That's so good to know. I was about to say eighty thirty. You have done nothing to Dennis and Steven. You've actually been nice to them. <laughs> Or 80-30. I feel bad. 80-30 is such a nice person. 80-30 is my best friend, okay? He likes all my tweets. So I sent <laughs> Matt um, a gif of somebody sawing a leg in half. Sawing a fake leg in half. <laughs> Yo, some people are saying in the chat, tweet at him and say, I'm black and I have a gun. No, <laughs> Bob, do not listen to them. No, That's, no. I get, already tweeted at them. I'm insane and have a lethal weapon. Hold on. Get, 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 a, get a cutout of you with the sword during the said debate. <laughs> Set a photo oh. of that. Oh, that's a good bet. Okay, so apparently me and Matt are having a gift war right now. All right, hold on. This is um, great. Hold on. I have the send debate up on a on my screen. I have to keep I have to scrub through it until I I pull out my sword. Which is amazing. Yeah, just the one with the sword pointing at it. <laughs> like you said that to him. I can't see any of these tweets. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. <laughs> Steven, you fucking pussy. <laughs> I shouldn't have antagonized him, but honestly, kind of deserves it. All right, I got, I got the screenshot. This is the screen. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet this at him underneath my. I'm, I'm insane. Him in possession of a lethal weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'll be, I'm I'll so literally, sad. I'll literally be right back. Three seconds, three seconds, three seconds. I'll be right back because I have to tell Minxie and Tipster because they asked me to come on for a second. I will be right back. I am so. Okay, you guys need to get on Death Noodles' Twitter right now. What? I know. What's Chris, I... <laughs> you said to come on. I did. And it took you like yeah. So 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 instead here. of saying just go on the Twitter, no, and no, tell no, us no, what's no, happening. No, no. no Dennis threatened to kill Cavos. Wait, what? what? <laughs> Everybody, I'm telling you guys, go on right now. <laughs> I gotta go back to Zion. I mean, I, I'm on the, I'm on there now. But like, which tweet is it? It's the one quote tweet. There's a bunch of them. So if you go at Zaddy Noodles, yeah, uh -huh. I'm on Zaddy Noodles right now. And there's one where he's quote tweeting Cavos, and he literally the back and forth shit. He quote tweets Cavos, uh, the Kimbo slice. I want to make an eye fall out of your head. Uh, I've literally offered to fly to your country to fight you within a week at a mutually agreed upon spot. If you want me to fight, that's the only way it's going to happen. Boxing is boring and not a real fight. Street fights with no gloves are where it's at. Take it or leave it. Somebody found the one where he literally said, I want to kill you. Where is it? Oh, my God. I saw that one. Yeah, dude, this is so funny. And Steven's mass blocking people right now. Like, Bunk is Bunk's, Bunk's in my server right now trolling him on Twitter because I can't do it. <laughs> What, Jesus. He blocked you? Yeah, he blocked me, Xyli, Tipster. You got to check if Steven blocked you because he's blocking What's everybody. What's his Twitter again? It's uh, at Spliff Nation. Spliff Nation. Let's see. Here, Are you blocked? Underscore. Uh, I am not blocked. Oh. I am not blocked. That's good to know. All right. I, I got to get back to Xyli and Bug. I got to. If I leave Bug alone too long, he's going to say something fucked up to Steven. Dude, you you gotta get us that tweet where he said he fucking wanted to kill him or whatever. That's interesting. It is very interesting. Like he's th he's literally threatening to fist fight Cavos in the street. 
Oh, my goal is to literally end your existence. There we go. Uh, but... Also, apparently there's some chick going off in my mentions about a fake tipster account. Oh, fun, fun, <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Here, man. Oh, no, it's it's one of these bread tubers. God damn it. Hold on. What bread tubers? What's a uh, bread tuber? The political people. Yeah, it's they're strange. they're oh. annoying. Um, Let me... I'm trying political to get it out. Go into my Discord, Minxie, and you'll see one like of the politics. tweets. Yeah, they're big. They're big mad at me because of something that was said uh, about Hassan. Yeah, dude, they're talking about how one of how my account in the bio says America first. Uh, it's not my account, and they're trying to explain to her like, dog, that's not his account, and she's not All reading right. it. I posted it, and you're just chatting on chat on accident, Minxie, but it's there. That's fine. Bunk just sent Steven a photo because Bunk found out that Steven said I'm black and I have a gun, so he tweeted at Steven and he also posted a picture of him holding a sword. <laughs> I'm gonna save this anyways. All right, I will be back later. Okay. Peace out, buddy. Bye. Yo, yo, That's Tipster and Xyli had no fucking idea. <laughs> I just you went... mean Tipster and Minxie? Tipster and Minxie, yes, correct. Sorry, Chris is a misogynist. All women are the same. I, I, he is a what? I'm what? You, you're making me a fucking misogynist right now? I'm not making you a misogynist. No, you bunk, made yourself bunk, bunk, a bunk misogynist. Bunk and Zyli, do not fucking double team me on some sort of bullshit semantic <laughs> logic here. I'm, I'm not sorry, Sen. I'm not Sen. I'm sorry, but Bunk broke down in some graphical Wait, numbers what? and letters bullshit as to the reason why you're a misogynist. Yeah, and I yeah. just believe What? Him. What is this? It was like, oh, they were... There was a logic tree and everything. Yeah. Why, why am I being exposed that I'm a misogynist? What is happening? I had to. I had to go with it. Bunk. It, it Bunk. made sense. It Bunk. was so airtight. It was so airtight. Bunk. There were so many like numbers and letters put together that it had to make sense. You guys Log. are dicks. First off, you Chris. and your logic tree could shove it up your ass. I'm gonna give you more Chris. of a fight than Zen did. Chris. Yes. I want you to check DMs. You see this? Proof that you're misogynist. Yeah, that makes absolutely no fucking sense to me in any well, no, retrospect. It doesn't make sense. It makes sense to everybody but you. Yeah, exactly. Dumb, yeah, because I'm a dumb dumb. dumb. Oh, because I'm a fucking dumb dumb. Yeah, okay, Destiny, you can go fuck yourself real quick. This I'm is not. not, I'm not Destiny. Hold on, hold on. This that's, is not. This, not hold on. Destiny, this, this isn't an argument that we're having. No, this is. I, oh yeah, no, I'm schizophrenic now. Right now. Oh, I'm schizophrenic now. That's the two delusions that you have. Two delusions. Two delusions hey, and look misogyny. At that. Look at that. It makes total sense. <laughs> Zyli. Like, look at this. It, it literally, it makes total sense. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess. I guess. You know what? I can't win. You know, I'm more Chris, dumb than Zen, know, bro. You know I'm more dumb than Zen. Yeah. This is, this is the, uh, this is the logical form for the, as, or that's the, uh, what do you call it? It's formal logic for why God knows what it's like to suck a dick. Oh, that's a great... Wow, that's actually math I am. I'm, hold on, first off, that's math I'm interested in. How good can God suck dick? How oh, good God. can God suck dick? It, does he use the two-handed method, the slopper shit, or is he just like a one-hander? <laughs> well, he knows how to do it. That's what I can tell you. Yeah, but like, how good is he? I want you to break down the logic of how good God is at sucking dick. Well, God's all-powerful, so he's as good as he wants to be. Exactly, but does he want to be that powerful? What if it kills a man? That's the question. What if it kills? <laughs> he is so good at drop someone dead. <laughs> what about that? What if, what if he sucks dick so good it kills a man? <laughs> Have we considered that? Yeah, I don't think I don't think the logical fallacies are in there. Uh, let's see. This is this is a fun night for me. This is a fun night for me. You... Yo, who joined us? Nerdy uh, John. Nerdy John. Nerdy John. What's up, Nerdy John? Did How you, you doing, you gay little bastard? <laughs> Oh, hey, I'm only half gay, Bunk, okay? <laughs> it's only half gay. Oh, my God. Why do I end up in these scenarios? Oh, oh by the way, you know the guy that is um, trying to sue Dennis right now for stealing his artwork? Steven blocked him. Of course he did. Oh, he's blocking funny. everybody. I actually want to get a conversation with Dennis at some point. Be that in, in real life through the... Uh... Me and Chris going to one of these events. Yeah, together. I'm, I'm considering it. I might oh, take a weekend. I, I, I'm a real. I feel like I could be a really good heckler. I've never heckled a comedy event before, but I feel like I can do it. I'm a pretty witty guy. Yeah, I was about to say, Bunk, you will literally just derail the entire fucking thing. <laughs> oh yeah, plus two. Like with you being with you being a political guy, <laughs> it, it would be hilarious to see because he he wants to be the woke comedian, right? But then you you can just actually school him bro bunk have you seen what's going on right now on twitter with def 
Um, didn't you just show me it, or am I? No, so, I mean, I mean, nerdy. I mean, nerdy. He meant to ask nerdy John because yeah, he just bad. showed you. My bad. Oh, my bad. okay. Uh, I saw he's uh he's having a meltdown with Cavos. <laughs> like you want you want to fight me? You fight me in the streets. Well, the part he's that made me laugh. Like he's gangster, even though he, like no matter where he's lived, he's always lived in like the rich neighborhoods. <laughs> you don't understand. I he's how going to murder. I can't call somebody Cavos. gay on Twitter without getting suspended? But like, Devin Noodles can literally threaten someone's life. Life. Or tell someone to kill dude. themselves. Dude, it's just like huge. it's just and, like and on uh, Twitch, bro. It's just like on Twitch. You know, you can bang someone and only be banned for a week, but you say L plus ratio. Wait, did this, for life. did this just happen? I, did you guys see this tweet? I have no interest in boxing you in the ring. If you want to fight, this oh, is my final offer. Me. I will book a flight tomorrow, fly out within a week, and agree to meet you at a mutually agreed street yeah, corner. I so, okay, that. okay, I just want to make sure because apparently Cavos <laughs> is like, fly out here, pussy. And Dennis is like, I'll take you up on it. If they actually get into a fist fight in England, oh that would be the God, funniest shit no, ever. No, no, that's. Well, Cavos can just stab him. It's in the UK. True. So, oh shit, what's up, Repzilla? <laughs> yeah, we're all talking about Dennis. <laughs> Let me. What is it? Is this? that Repzilla? Is yeah. that. Rebzilla in the chat. That is Rebzilla in the Can chat. Can we get some turtles? Uh, yes, that is Rebzilla in the chat. Let me, let me, let me invite. You want Rebzilla. me to invite him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could do that. I, I kind of want to know what Rebzilla thinks of all this nonsense. <laughs> man, you all are pissing off a black man today, aren't you? Well, Bunk is the Whoa, one that, that said some fuck that shit. They are kissing, wow. That we're all pissing them off because they're black. That's not true. That's I'm not true. Them off because they're black, and these people are not racist at all. Okay, hold on. Let me just copy. I'll send it to you on uh, Twitter, Repzilla. Okay. Yeah. I'll DM you on. Um, D I'll DM you on Repzilla. To be honest, Re Repzilla is asking a very valid question. Eighty thirty is not a bot, right? Because <laughs> it's no, no, it's no, no. Eighty thirty no. just... has sat in, a, sat in a VC and asked me like. Oh, questions. Questions. Eighty thirty oh. is a. That's all he does is ask questions. Everybody in the commentary. <laughs> That is awesome. I love that eighty thirty follows me. Now. Yeah, no, I have zero issues with it. He, he does. Uh, I wait. I don't. Is eighty thirty a uh, he or she? They. Uh, he. I is. Okay, He's I did child. not know that. Are you assuming a gender, Ziley? Well, that's what I didn't want to do. Yes. I didn't want to assume a gender. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Uh. <laughs> hey, don't you tell me to shut up. That's mean and rude. Very. That's my feeling. Very rude. Uh, listen. Fuck, this you, fuck attack. you have feelings. Oh, shit. Matt Pitch yes, has subscribed to the channel. They're Thank you, Matt. Right now. Ziley's attacking the non-binary, shaking my head. Hold on. Okay, you know what? Terrible. I'm done with all y'all. Nah, nah. Ziley, stay. Stay, stay. Don't worry about it. You're good. I'm done. No, Ziley, stay. <laughs> Without... Wait, did he block you, Bunk? I thought he did, but I, I don't know if he actually... Hold on, let me have to, I have to refresh it. Uh, let me... I, I don't saw, know if I, I can... Saw, I think I saw 8030 stream shot or something. I actually no, didn't I'm still unblocked. Link I have to... I have to... I have to get this person to either block me by the end of the night or get in a VC with me. Where the fuck's my chat? Why can't I post anything in my chat? Hey, Hannah, can you do me a favor and post the Discord chat? Or the Discord link? It's not allowing me to do that on my chat for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, if anyone could post the Discord link in there so that people could jump in, I'm fucking dying laughing right now. Wait, why am I not a mod anymore in your chat? What do you mean? You have VIP status this entire time. No, I mean in your chat. Oh, in your chat? Like it's not showing me. I don't know. Oh, I know why, because I'm on my other account. Hold on. Uh, uh -huh. Matt, we're in my server, so um, let me... Ah, fuck, I can't drop... Yeah, Zyla, can you drop the Discord link in there so yeah, Matt and I'll, Repsilla I'm can get in? Yeah, I'm dropping it now. I'm dropping it now. Thank there you. you. Go, guys. Oh, Repzilla's here. I gotta up his okay. permissions. Uh, let Repzilla know he could join the live since he's I VIP was on now. Zyli Star Gaming. I was like, why am I not have a wrench? And then <laughs> yeah, realized. wait, you have I a gaming channel? Wrong, uh, yeah, it's when I first uh came over from like Mixer and stuff. But now I just use it to hold videos that I want to okay. save and use at a later time. So Repzilla and Matt. Um, they can actually just join the live call, the live room at any time. They're they're completely free to do what they want. Hey, I will be right back. I'm gonna uh, yeah. go take care of something real quick. Be yeah. right back. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. let me let me. Hey. Hold on. Be right back. Yeah. All right. Uh, Matt. Matt Pitt at Repzilla.
All right, there we go. What's up, rep? She ran from me. She did not run from you. Don't make this a thing. Don't make this a thing, Repzilla. Don't make this a thing. Who's got gale force winds coming through their fucking microphone? It's nerdy. Nerdy, you got to get a better yeah, mic, brother. Just... Oh my I'm, god, I'm, now I'm, we have like the, uh, we have like the, mean, the, the dude, 1950s uh, radio dude, mic, I'm... dude. Yeah, dude, I'm on my ear. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah, buddy. No, can you I'm sing over ear. after ending your sentences for me, please? <laughs> Let me know if there's feedback through my microphone at any point. No, you sound good, yeah, Rep. You got it, buddy. No, you, you sound, sound good, good on your yeah, You yeah, sound I'm, good. Yeah, I, I have to use earbuds because uh, technical I'm, I'm, difficulties. I'm, I'm, nerdy, you didn't you didn't say over that time. Yeah, what the fuck, nerdy? Now. Wait, uh, Rep. You're on YouTube, right? You're yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Okay, be be careful. Regardless, but hold on. Be careful. Regard. Yeah, well, gonna, nobody gives I'm a fuck. Say the N -word. Don't say I'm the N word. I already had one of my streams have like 50 N words in it because I was watching a video. I'm sorry. What, which word can't we say? Be shut nice up, bonk. bonk. Shut up. Which I'm word back. is that? Be bonk. Nice bonk. Bonk. Uh, shut up. I, I was being the very. Words? The word is can nit. Vouch that nah, I was being Fuck nice. off, nerdy. <laughs> But hold on. Wait hold on. a minute. I, want... wait, I have a question. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I that was bad. Nerdy, don't say that, nerdy. What's, no, that up? Was nerdy. What's up with the communities tab that you have on your Twitter? I don't have that. Who? I have it. I have that. I don't. Let, I am... let people have it on Twitter. It's not rolled out for everyone yet. And yes, it's fucking cool. Well, that's misogynistic as fuck. How is that misogynistic? And what? How is I don't have it? Misogynistic. Hold on, this isn't working. Uh, hold on, share screen. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you're really disappointed that you can't join all I'll the incel community communities that I'm in, Zyla. Yeah, that's really disappointing. Yes, I am. I'm. I'm heartbroken. Some I mean, first I get people, blocked by man. Steven, I and guys. now I don't have communities. Well, I wanted to. Uh, Repzilla, you've been seeing these tweets, these unhinged tweets from Dennis, right? Yeah. What the fuck yeah. is going on? How did this even start? Well, it started because uh, he was supposed to arm wrestle me. And uh, what he he uh, he pushed out. That's what's happening, rep. <laughs> right, so now he, he's just fell into this thing with Cabos. So I, he's he's. I, I don't he, know what to tell you. So, so he's deflecting. What you're saying it. is the black guy got scared of a southern man. Mm, on paper, that doesn't sound too good, boys. He ain't never been to the south. Oh my god, Cabos is literally just trolling the fuck out of him right now. Dude, this is all because Def, he tagged Keemstar and Def Noodles in the same tweet and said, I want to box Def Noodles, like if the opportunity arose. And now Dennis is like threatening him <laughs> in a fucking street fine. brawler. I think it's hilarious. Like, what the fuck? What is this? I was literally doing a live stream on something I thought was important. And now Dennis is just melting the fuck down on Twitter. I, I think there's like, I, I read what Dennis says and then I think he says stuff. And then I'm like, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's and pretty... then long after that when he says something really stupid and I'm like, never mind. Never mind. There's moments. There's there's inflection moments with Dennis where you're like, oh, that might be what? relatively funny, and then he does something to just kill it immediately. I'll swear are you guys it's like the Ghostbusters 2016 movie. For every good joke, there has to be a bad joke that follows. True. You gotta balance it out, dude. I love Ghostbusters. Not not 2016. Old yeah. school. I don't think anyone actually likes the new Ghostbusters. That's just that's just a fact of life. I just didn't watch it because there was women. In it. Oh my God, Bunk! I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> I want to murder you, Bunk. Bunk. Who's the misogynist That's not very here? Nice. But the women made the movie bad. Oh my God, Matt! I swear to God, <laughs> let me tell you something. You're on edge with me, buddy. Wow, man. Okay, that shit was funny when you uh, oh, did the sandstorm. Uploaded yeah. a nipples video. That Wait, was funny. Who? What? Edwin did an hour ago. Oh shit, it, uh, Edwin! Oh, that was the upload from Saturday stream. Oh okay. About couples going after Nick. Yo, I called that shit. I was in there. Yeah, I called mm -hmm. that shit. Rebzilla was like, "I'll message her and I'll see if uh, I'll see if she'll respond." I'm like, "No, nah, he's gonna get blocked." And then boom. You need you need to work on your southern accent. I'm from the south, asshole. So what am I, but I sound like a northern. I sound like a New Yorker. Like. You don't even have to, like I, you, it's like you, you sound like this right here, and, and I, I don't sound like yeah, that. I, I like sound. southern chicken. Rapzilla, not, not all people what? from the I south sound like the same. Fuck! <laughs> 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 
chicken. That's and, a proper uh, southern. Yeah, boy, ain't brother. Yeah. And uh, that's just what it is. Rob Zilla, you have more of a country accent than I do. Yeah, you're. Where are you? Where are you from, Alabama? So fucking hot. No, Virginia. But most of my family is from oh, North sorry. Carolina to Georgia. Oh, well, well, half my family is from North Carolina to well, Georgia. You, so. Let me tell you a fun fact about me. Uh, I'm the only one in, of my generation from the South. My family's from the North. Ah. My dad is was born in Dayton, Ohio, and my mother was born in Peru, Indiana. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like half my, half my family Holy is shit. Puerto Rican. The other half of my family is redneck. Half mine are uh, meth addicts. Oh, I I jump in the call with meth addicts. What the fuck is happening? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Is, is all really that's still be We're all doing math. So You're doing math right now. It's, it's not no, math. Math. Well, hey, at math. least, look. At least we're not yeah. whipping out our swords and begging somebody to duel us on a live stream. That, that wasn't was a bag. It was a challenge. Those are no, different right. things, Zyli. Sen really dropped the ball on that one. That was a horrible Dude, he debate. He was so unfunny. He was so unfunny. Horrible debate. Yeah, horrible he debate. Mad game on Twitter, and then I thought he was a pedo. He is. <laughs> he is. Did you not no, watch the debate? No, not. Yeah, I, he is. I, I came to the You're debate looking like a real exposure because, like, I was like, okay, he's he's a pedo. I, I fucking knew it. I had those vibes. Let's see the proof. And then I was like, I was like, what we were like five, ten minutes into it. I was like, oh, this is a troll. <laughs> Let's get them likes up. Let's get these likes up. We have major creators so here. Let's go. Those are my genuine beliefs. Dennis to genuine talking beliefs. shit about Sen. <laughs> Bro, the whole the whole debate started with like Sen just started coughing, and it was really weird. It was awkward. It was just it, like. <laughs> well, the, my favorite part is where he was like, "Yeah, like I've been throwing up," and Bug just goes, "What? You throw up all your fucking brain cells too?" <laughs> <laughs> no, he had to throw up the parts of the kids he ate. Well, dude, I was, hoping that he would start, I was hoping that he would start shit talking me because I like shit talking, but it was just kind of like me beating on like a punching bag. He was very so submissive. Yeah, he was very he was, scared. He was, yeah, he was guys, submissive. He was like, yeah, you're right. Guys, to well, be honest, Sen is really submissive. Sick. No, Sen is submissive and breedable, apparently, from that whole conversation. Oh Bro, God. normally he Sen's the one fucking the kid. <laughs> the, the problem I disavow. I disavow. <laughs> I disavow Sen's fucking of kids too. I'll let it be known. That's pretty fucked up of them. The problem was your username didn't say Augie RFC on it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> true. That's true. Dude, he randomly brought up like Augie. He was like, it's Augie in chat. I was like, yes. That... Everyone in the world is in my chat right <laughs> now. To be honest, every creator was in your chat almost just to All see that. Them. You know what the funny thing is? Augie didn't even watch it. Augie was like the only person who I knew didn't watch it. Augie didn't watch it? <laughs> no, Augie didn't watch it. He DM'd me after. He's like, how, how the debate was starting to go. He's got to watch it. That's internet history right there. <laughs> that will be my legacy. This... I want my quotes from that debate on Is... my epitaph. Isn't this funny? That Dennis has a meltdown on Twitter, and now we're all on a call just talking shit. I love Dennis. Dennis is the greatest uniter on planet fucking Earth. I mean, he actually yeah, is, to be honest. There was totally no new allegations ever brought today. Yeah, there was not some big news that just kind of no. happened on fucking slug stream of all yeah, people. I'm yeah, I'm not touching that until I see the other side like, of the conversation. Like I, I still think it looks bad, but I would like to what see if, the full conversation. What if, what if the other side yeah, of the conversation... Yeah, but Craig Beckett kind of looks like Bosch, which makes me, like, a little biased. <laughs> what if the, in favor what of if the other, other side of the conversation... He might be a little bit, um, a little, a little suspicious. Um, what if not, the, no hard uh, allegations, obviously, obviously. What mm -hmm. if the uh, other side of the conversation is uh, Craig Beckett just being like, please stop DMing me. Please stop DMing me. Please stop. I'd appreciate it if you stopped DMing me. Hey, I'd greatly appreciate it if you stopped DMing me. Yeah, this. Yeah, that was at the entire Have time. you Wait, have you read DMing the 400 me. pages? I just watched Slugstream, and uh, I guess there was nude scent. Slug says there was nude scent. I don't know. But it's Slug, uh, so it's hard to determine that if it's actually fact or not. 400 pages. No, no, no. I, I looked at the Google files. Uh, there's a lot of censored pictures. Yeah, but yeah. he also censored like pictures of her in clothes, so I don't mm -hmm. know which. Yeah, mm. I don't know anything about this situation at all. Uh, it's just something. It's it's something to turtle. Like I don't know if you know who Craig Beckett is. I have heard the name. Yeah, he made a video on you. <laughs> barely, I've bar I heard that this person barely exists. 
Well, no, they actually exist a little bit too much. They okay, take up a lot to of be area. fair, <laughs> I've done like they, they, they three really live streams maybe a more on Repzilla, so I mean, to be I, fair, I, honestly, I've done videos on him too. I don't, I don't know anything about Craig Beckett besides what I heard in somebody's live stream that I was in. Probably and I can't Tipster. Remember. Probably Tipster. Was it Tipster's live stream? Yeah, Tipster it and him have an issue. It might have been Tipster's live stream. It might have been. I may have been in there, and I may have been drunk, and I might not remember. <laughs> that. Uh, it's just... Oh, you know what? If you were drunk, that wasn't Tipster's live stream. That was Edwin's live stream. Oh, Edwin's. That that was Edwin's I usually live drink stream. in Edwin's stream for some reason. Well, I would expect everyone to drink in my That was live the streams. one where like someone in the chat was like, hey, I liked your black shirt and closed your window. Oh. And Rebs was like, my cam on? Hey, <laughs> hey guys, is my cam on right now? <laughs> yeah, uh, she guessed my shirt color. I was sitting there, I was eating cheeses. I was having a good time, really. And then somebody in the chat was like, "Say it said something like, you look good in that black shirt. And I'm sitting here in a black shirt. I'm like, at first, I'm like, is my camera fucking on? You know that panic? You're like, oh, shit. Yeah. They're probably yeah. talking about your profile picture. Hold on. Sure. Hold on. No, uh, <laughs> so, the camera was on, and then I was like, somebody's outside my window. Because I, I have had, a, like, a legitimate stalker before, like, for real. So, I was like, damn. Here it goes again. I was already ready. Uh -huh. Now I gotta deal yeah, with this the next second thing time. They say, just wipe the Tito dust off you. <laughs> it, it was just a random, very good guess. If I had, if I, had I was to staring at the window, they said I can see you through the window, and I was like, <laughs> okay. But yeah, it was just a really good guess. If I yeah, this... I I don't know. I'm All not right, covering. One more, one more time. One more time. I'm gonna kill somebody. Are you? Why are you There'll killing someone? What are you gonna kill? Who are you gonna kill, Bunk? Who are you killing? Um, there's this one guy I learned about, uh, Steven type, um, today. Oh, oh. is and, it, uh, is his I last name start with, with a D? Yes. I know who you're talking about. Who? His last name starts with a D? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna pay him a visit. In, I'm gonna show him how much more I lift than him. In, I'm gonna be honest, though, oh, I don't know why, I don't know Steven. why Emmy, I don't know why Emmy went to Slug, of all people. I don't know. Somebody said, from what I understand, because Tipster was DMing me about it, 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 this is what I've heard, is that somebody told her to go to Slug. So that, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I have been blocked now. Steven is running away from me. Steven's a pussy. He can't bench he's as running. much as you. He's running away from me. Well, every, everyone knows that Slug is the pedophile guy, He's right? cowering. So, well, uh, is that really well, what he's known for? Somebody <laughs> made a good point on Twitter. That it's funny that Mama Max used Craig Beckett and Slug and added them and thanked them. Well, then he video. removes. Well, yeah, then he removes Slug after everyone was like, do not allow him to be in your video. <laughs> yeah, Slug said that uh, quite a few times on the stream. He's like, see? Did you guys have Craig Beckett? See what I mean? Have you. Yeah. Uh, serious question, Matt. Have you and Tobby, like, gotten rid of Slug? Because Dead on Dave just did it. Did it. But I know you he keep him on as a residence. Yeah, you you straight jacket yeah. him. So it's like stupid yeah. moments that you think are funny to bring him on to talk shit. Yeah, he can't he can't come into voice chats. He can't type in the chat. All he can do is go in and wait in a call. <laughs> so if he goes in a wait and call, we pull him in. And he can also come on stages. That's it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Who do I have to kill to get straight jacketed into the Tommy C server? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tommy? Yes. <laughs> Well, then who's gonna straight jack him? Start <laughs> start DMing Tommy in the meanest ways possible. Say I'm gonna kill your why family. Don't, why, do, why don't you give Tommy the formula and tell him he's a whatever a pedo. Whatever you want. <laughs> this is proof yeah. that you're a pedophile. Just do not send that to Tommy. Tommy will fucking lose it. <laughs> this is proof that you are the true pedo wizard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, God. and then like this is gonna cause Tommy to go on a whole rant about transgendered people and leftists. <laughs> hey, Bruce, Bruce in the chat. What's up, Bruce? Oh, check DMs, Chris. Oh God, what did you send me, bunk? <laughs> Can I show it on stream? <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's pull I'm this. I'm scared off. of you showing it on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run from me, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I love when Bug calls in, because it's a fucking shit show every time. Bug <laughs> is a little shit, that's why. <laughs> I'm a funny little guy. I do funny little guy things. My god, I'm looking at Hannah's quote tweet that was three hours ago, and it's Steven being like, some talk about it, others be about it. And she just goes, dude, it's the internet. <laughs> oh 
Oh boy. <laughs> They're taking this shit too guy, seriously. He, he... You don't understand. He's super funny. One of his friends got to audition for SNL. Yeah, dude, the whole audition for SNL. I love how he won't call Salvo Pancakes by his name. He no. says Keemstar's employee. Well, so you saw my tweet where I was like, guessed it, can't keep Keemstar's cock out of his mouth. I fucking knew that. He couldn't help it. The minute Salvo was like, I'm going to come, and he heard a live stream that Salvo was like, I'm Keemstar's employee. I, sh I shine his shoes and spit shine him and all that shit. And Dennis is like, oh, this guy works for Keem? Naturally, he hates me. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually I have a lot of faith in Salvo. I feel like Salvo Salvo's a pretty good shit talker. Oh yeah, he's I've gone back good. and forth with Salvo publicly. It's been fun. It's I, going to I be have faith. Do you? Yes. What, what did you say, Repsilla? It's going to be very interesting. That mm -hmm. that that live stream Friday is gonna be very, very interesting. I think, I think Salvo's got something planned. I think he will he will definitely not let Team Star down. He won't let all of us down, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, he ha you know, I think he I think he's holding he can hold the pressure. I have faith. Yeah. He's looking for a cameraman in Los Angeles right now. Is he right now? Are you serious? Why can't he just get Muda yeah, Hard to do it? Yeah, he tweeted it out. Salvo, God, uh, that's funny. Tweeted it out. Get Muda Hard to do it. He's going to be there. Uh, let me find Salvo. Literally Is DM What? Isn't Tipster going? Oh uh, yeah, Tipster's going. Uh, Tips is going to be there in attendance, but not as a roaster. Same as Muda. They're both going to be in the capacity of just sitting in there and just watching this dumpster fire of a situation. This might be worse than his first one. This this might okay, actually be worse. Salvo said, LA people, anyone available with a camera to be a good little videographer this weekend? Oh, God. I hate that he said good little. Yeah, that's a little creepy. I hate that. Call him a pedophile. I hate that quote tweet him. <laughs> quote tweet like a pedophile. Quote tweet him. Turn turn the flamenco arc against him. <laughs> I'm I'm not edgy like y'all. I'm not going to do that. Bex, what are you doing? No. I'm gonna just say abhorrent things on the internet and nobody can stop me. Bro, oh Bex. Oh my god, you're so I'm bad. Gonna ignore that. Gonna ignore that. What did you do, Chris? I didn't do anything. It was Bex. I didn't do anything. Oh. Didn't do a goddamn thing. Uh, I doubt that. I'm watching the stream now. I didn't I do anything. Doing. No. I, I, didn't, I, I didn't type nothing. Mm. I never gave mm. anything away. Never talked about the situation. I, 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 oh, you're talking about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. no. You, know, you know I'm trying to earn Salvo's Because I got confirmed. But all I gotta say is, um... Oh, it's public? No, it's not public. Bex is saying it's public because she's, like, head what mod you, for What Salvo. are you schizophrenics talking about? I okay, wonder. fine. Apparently... No, I'm not gonna talk about... I'll, I'll talk... Uh, I can't tell Fuck anyone. Fuck you, asshole. Keep I can't tell anyone. Jesus like that. <laughs> no, I know, but no, if you it. saw... Listen, I'm not gonna say it, but if you scroll through my chat right now, you'll see it from someone named Bex. Oh, it got deleted. It doesn't matter now. <laughs> You're a cruel man, Chris. Listen, dude. You're I, cruel I'm man. trying to I'm earn. I'm trying to earn trust of creators here. If somebody says don't say nothing, I keep my mouth shut. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Vex. Is that like Vex Swift, the dude who like Duh. a couple months ago? Salvo okay, so I need Swift. to know. Okay. Out of the creators in here, are y'all gonna be running that Craig Beckett story, or you're gonna wait? I'm gonna wait. I think she's gonna. Yeah, I think she's gonna try to get the um, the archives. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Heck no, dude. I don't handle pedophile stories. Whoa. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm not somebody that likes to cover them. That's just me yeah. because they're so messy. Like that's why I stayed away from the Mama Max thing of like the allegations. Like anything involving like physical assault, sexual assault, or pedophilia, I'm like not. I'm gonna try my hardest not to cover it unless it's like something completely fucked. You know what I yeah. mean? Like an example is like the John yeah. Swan thing where like it was a complete and blatant lie. I would. I would cover that. But if it's something like this. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I like laughing at a fat white dude trying to say the two black guys are racist. Okay, <laughs> that's where my brand is. Talk about so, Ethan. Who, okay. Who is the pedophile in this situation? Uh, allegedly, Craig. Allegedly. <laughs> God the, damn it, rap. Country, allegedly, like uh, in the country of the, kids or something. I, I, don't, like that, I, I think I when, I, when you ask, you don't have to say allegedly. Like, who's the pedophile? And then it's for you guys to say allegedly. <laughs> You turn it on us and go, well, it's up to you, <laughs> yeah. say, say allegedly. Okay, so there okay, is... Okay, so Craig Beckett is definitely a pedophile, 100%. Yeah. 
No. Okay. Wow. Okay. That's Not li- where bug. I was going with it. Fuck, that's live. But okay. <laughs> that's live. If, um, if you ask me any evidence, I don't have any. You got to take my word on it. Okay. So there is. Okay. Just trust there me. There is a Google Doc <laughs> with 400 screenshots in it of a conversation between a girl that was 16, she turned 17, and Ugh. with Craig Beckett. The only thing is, the, okay, one, when you see it, you don't see Craig Beckett's name up top. You don't see his side of the conversation because he deactivated a couple of days ago or yesterday, excuse me. Um, How do we know and, Craig? And the only reason why you know it's Craig, if 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 you're taking her word for it, the only reason why you know it's Craig because she says Craig in the DM. She says his name. That's really the only confirmation that anyone has that it might be That is Craig. That's not enough. No. I know. No. No. I know. Is there any way we can check it out? Yeah, well then like I just sent I just sent the Google Doc to you. Yeah, send the Google Doc to me too. Made a tweet about the situation. How was he? And it it says, uh, "Imagine being mad because he didn't pick you." Let's see what it is. Okay, yeah, I don't know about that. Who is this? But I do know if you look at these screenshots, you never see his name up top. You only see loading. Okay, that's strange. Here we go. Uh, the girlfriend's tweet says, "Imagine trying to destroy a man's <clears throat> livelihood simply because he didn't pick you." Wait a oh. There's no conversations coming back from the other person. Because he deleted, because he deactivated. Because... He deactivated yesterday. Yeah. Why did he deactivate yeah. yesterday? We uh, don't know. We don't know. What do you think, Bunk? And and wait, who's the girl? Oh uh, well, I Emmy. think it's because um, Repzilla. Right? Who's the girl? The girl is Emmy, the one that you left on red about the Asman stuff that she got the, mad. The one, the one who's friendly with me now. Yes. Okay. Yes, her. She's a minor. Uh, she's seventeen. Yes. And she was flirting with Craig allegedly. And these screenshots prove nothing. Yeah. Uh, allegedly, he was asking her um, in her thread. There's also a thread. Is this, alleged, put, is, this, is this alleged censored nudes? Yes. God, how long is this Google document? It's 400, 400 fucking pages, Bonk. Screenshotted at the whole conversation. Well, I know what I'm not had. reading tonight. <laughs> okay. But she, she said here in, in her thread, in her thread, yeah, she tweeted the whole <gasps> entire conversation from when she first started to, to the end. That's it ridiculous. was from January until like a week ago uh, or whatever. Um, she goes, tell me, she says, tell me why a grown ass man wanted to see me naked in a shower. Craig Beckett, you asked me to stay silent. I promise you I wouldn't tell anyone, but I think I should speak about it. Why don't you reactivate your Twitter and show everyone you talking about what you wanted to do if we met up? Why don't you reactivate and show everyone how you joked about sending me a sex toy? Why don't you show how you asked for shit from me? Such as photos of me in a swimming costume, and what about the fact you wanted to see my face as I climax? Now, people are asking, why did he deactivate? And she said, I don't know, but I told, and then somebody said, I heard you told people, and they, but she said, but they promised they wouldn't tell Craig. So let me ask, can I ask this? How old is Craig? Do you guys know? I don't know. He's he's around the age of 27. He's in like his mid to late. Okay, so he's the same age as me. So he's definitely uh, deactivated. No, I heard he was 29. Twitter. 29. Uh, so the the thing is, right? She's 17. Uh, he's 29. He was six, she she was 16 when he first started, but it doesn't matter. 16, 17. I understand. Under age, whatever. When they were both in England. They're both in England. The age yes, of Bruce. in England is 16. Yes, Bruce. Uh, it, so it, it is the guy if, that unless uh, there's new was platformed by Mama Max during an expose yeah, video. Both yeah. In England, huh? Yeah. Yep. In England, age of consent is 16. Yep. <sighs> well, he he's I, I didn't need these screenshots to know that he's creepy. Yeah, so, like creepy. Uh, but... you no, know, I'm not. I'm just saying. Not I'm, I may be biased. He did make a video. I mean, I'm just kidding. I don't care. But like <laughs> these these pictures that are marked out are these inappropriate pictures? Apparently. Okay, Supposedly. that's the thing. These I, pictures. I feel grimy. Looking at these, I'm gonna not look at them. No there as far as couple... I know, they're not naked. As yeah, far as I know, many... they're not naked. There were many occasions where Slug was like, "Is this a nude?" And she's like, "No, <laughs> it's just me in a bathing suit," or "No, this is me in lingerie," or so I don't know if there was actually nude sent. Slug says there were, right? But, but I don't. It's yeah. Slug. <laughs> like... And some think... of 
And some of the time she says, uh, she has like uh, typed over it, like, this is not a new picture, it's just a picture of my crotch. Like wearing pants or something. I. That's such a weird photo to send. I think now, like, it looks like it's legal in uh, where they're from, but I think in any given debate or conversation, somebody could always say, yeah, well, go talk to a minor. Well, like, an example is like the yeah. Lion Maker thing, right? He was like in his late 20s and she was 15 or 14. At the time, and he was trying to say that, well, you know, the the laws in my country say that age of consent is fourteen, but people still criticized Lion Maker and bullied him off the platform. Well, no, the laws in her country said the age of consent oh, was, oh, it was like, her. Higher. He was trying, no, 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 no. Yeah, he also spread her pictures on. Well, yeah, like, yeah that that's yeah, a totally yeah, different there's situation. There's a lot more to. No, what I'm trying to say is that the laws it's, in her it, country. It, 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 it age doesn't sound terrible, but I will yeah. say that uh, if the dude is. You know, he's, how old is he? Twenty seven, twenty six. Some people say? are saying twenty nine. Okay, so he's so he's closer to thirty. It's kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not little, hanging out with him. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, the age difference is a little. It's a little sus, but this is like a this is like one of those situations where they live in a different country and the age of consent is entirely different, but it's still creepy. If, if he wants to come on here and talk about it. Yeah, that'd well, be, yeah, that'd be interesting to bring Craig, Craig on. Do live streams. Yeah, Craig doesn't. Craig doesn't do live streams. Craig will never well, do a live stream. Well, that's just not good. That is very uh, insert. Okay, all all I will say now is, worst comes to worst, if like nothing else is revealed from this, he he looks like a creep, which people have already been saying about him already. So it's not like it's gonna ruin his reputation any further. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, he made a video on me, so. <laughs> what, like, you have, uh, did people okay, make wait a minute. On... Hold on. Wait a minute. Revzilla, I've made multiple. I, shut no. up. Shut up. Yeah, I've made multiple videos right. on you. So, I'm yeah, Rob you Zilla. Me. Rob Zilla. Do people who make videos on you have a, a like a, a correlation with pedophilia? Oh no! Don't do that. Let me, bonk. Think, let me think about this. Hold on. Don't you say yes. Bonk. No, I'm seriously thinking. I need time to process. Hold Bro, on. you better call Redsky a pedophile. You better call me a pedophile. I'm thinking about this. Don't you dare call Redsky a pedophile or me. Thank you very much. Xyli is a Redsky spy. Just let me process. No, I, no, I don't think I can say that. No. Damn. Bunk was it really was, hoping. Was like the Rebzilla, I have done multiple live streams about you, Bunk. and you still like me. Bug, you were about yeah, to fucking say a he's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to fucking put the logic together on that, you fucking dick. Oh, my God. I hate but all of you. Xyli's my grandma. Oh, my God. Don't you start that shit again. <laughs> all right guys so over. it went from the death noodles <laughs> thing which is in the beginning it's of the stream over. talking about how he threatened cabos um over. and now but it's yeah, us it, talking it's, about a situation involving another creator a potential pe pedophile out. allegation and now we're just talking shit link to that so if you guys part enjoy part talking oh, yeah, shit yeah, between no rep fucking zilla xylee matt pitt the co-host of shot from the point nerdy john the producer of dead on dave and bunk my favorite debater. Make sure you guys fucking like, like this stream. Make sure you guys like it. This is a fun one for me. I oh, love this shit. This is a different girl from this Emmy yeah. girl. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's older does. than Craig. Actually, the girlfriend. Oh, wait. So is she is she like kind of confirming that? The, wait, okay. This is like that's really weirdly worded. Wait. Um, what is she confirming? She I don't know. I haven't seen the tweet. Hold on. Just, oh my god. Just let me fucking talk. Oh, I can't get a word out right now. Holy shit. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, well, she's not really. No. Holy shit! I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm actually gonna try to kill somebody. He has no idea. I'm actually mad. I never get upset during voice chat. you are gonna be actually fucking mad right now. Okay? You call everyone in this voice chat a pedophile. Yeah, you're all pedophiles. So I can prove it using math. I'm muted. I'm muted. <laughs> so, I just about any inappropriate be... behavior from anybody in this chat. That, I, I agree with that. So. They could either they could either be saying these are the conversations that have occurred with Craig Beckett and like he was not he didn't like have these advances with them, mm -hmm. or secondly they could be saying these are like completely bullshit that these are these like aren't actually screenshots with Craig Beckett and like she tried to fucking hit on him or something like that and it's completely manufactured. It seems to like confirm some kind of interaction between her and Craig Beckett though, so it's not like it's some just like random fucking skits on the internet. Right. Well, he's a hundred right. running, so that's guilty. 
Yeah, this By is internet, internet standards. Well, yeah, because we go based on how America kind of does things, you know, because YouTube is an American based company and the most of the most of the creators are American. So when we hear about these kind of situations, we're like, what the fuck? You know, that's because we bleed red, white and blue. Well, hell yeah. Like, no shit. <laughs> we have scouts and we cook hamburgers. Hamburgers is shit. And fireworks oh. on holidays. That's oh, why well, we're the best. Is, this is kind of awkward. This is awkward. Emmy follows the girlfriend, and the girlfriend follows her on Twitter. <laughs> that is awkward. Well, yeah, uh, Emmy um, followed Craig, and if I saw it correctly, I think Craig followed her. No, I'm not talking about Craig. I'm talking Emmy follows the girlfriend on Twitter. No, no, but what I'm saying is, like, I think she was part of Craig's community. Mm. Well, yeah, I, that's, I follow Craig Beckett, too, and he follows me, but I'm not part of his community. I do not follow Craig Beckett. Yeah, no, well, you I can't I, anymore now. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't follow him at all, cause like the the whole situation with Tipster and AP, I was like, fuck that. I follow Craig Beckett. He makes great thumbnails. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean just because you follow somebody or and they follow you back, it doesn't mean that you're yeah. part of their community. It's not an endorsement of them or following their community yeah. at all. Like I, I get I, fucking Repsion followed me yesterday. Repsion's never gonna watch these fucking streams. Like who cares? That's not good. I'm here. No, I know you're Repzilla though. Yeah, but no, the same person. He, he may come here. Hey, he might. If he might, I don't know, because him and there's a reason for him to come here. He'll come here. Well, it's for you. It's for you, obviously. He wants his name. <laughs> yeah, I can go get him. Hey, he's probably high though. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know, you know what's funny is for the longest time, like no joke, before I started watching both of your content, uh, before I started making my own content. I kept fucking up you guys as creators just based on the name because I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> thought that we were, like, related or, like, tied into the, each other's channels or something like that. I honestly never knew about Repzion when I – because I've had the nickname Repzilla since I was five years old because it's a childhood nickname. Mm -hmm. it, 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 is, it stands for uh, Reptar and Godzilla put together. It's something my grandpa used to call me because I was, like, obsessed with Rugrats and Godzilla. So that's what I was called, and so I just just what I named myself on everything. I either called myself Repzilla or uh, what was the other one? It was uh, it was really cool. It was my World of Warcraft character. It was fucking. It was so cool. You forgot. <laughs> it was really cool. I can't remember it though. Hold on, so really badass. So okay, somebody, guys. so Zyli and Matt, you know a little bit more about this. One of the people in the chat just asked this side note: How did this girl have interactions with two different creators like this? DMs. DMs, obviously, it's fucking easy. This happens more often than you <laughs> than you viewers fucking like, see, like, bro. Like, what kind of interactions? Like, are they talking like specifically sexual? Like interactions generally with creators? I would assume it's just interactions with creators. I don't know if they mean sexual. You can talk to creators pretty fucking easily on the internet. Yeah, some of them. We're doing especially it right if now. they have like yeah. less than ten k, just fucking DM them on Twitter. They'll probably reply to you. Yeah. I don't think you have anything better to do. Yeah, we're bored. Especially around right now. <laughs> we're bored bro <laughs> we're yeah, fucking dude, bored. you guys should dm me all of your life secrets and ask me for advice about your personal intimate relationships i'm gonna be upfront with you. you if you do that bunk will ruin your life <laughs> <laughs> no that's not true i'm a trustworthy individual who'll give good advice bunk you threaten sem with a sword <laughs> Yeah, and what no, said Sen deserved it. Sen threatened oh bunk God. with vomit so i mean it goes both ways he, right? he did he did yeah, he did like, uh, to kind of move away from this like to end it off here like worst case scenario with the information that we have as of now mm -hmm. worst case scenario is he flirted with her for a while um something happened that made the flirting stop and now she's trying to get back at him it, he shouldn't have been talking to her she's too young i don't care what yeah. their age is, is over there i i agree on that that concept like you're you're a full-grown adult your prefrontal cortex is fucking developed like you you shouldn't be talking to people at that age range yeah it's yeah, just i mean what's he what's he doing going for 17 year olds when 10 year olds are so much hotter <laughs> oh my god fuck. oh my god fuck. Bunk, bunk's that pedophile that'll grab like a 12 year old and he'll be like you know what this 12 year old's pretty cute but like there's a hotter 10 year old down the street i swear to god 
bunk makes me want to go into auntie mode, and literally I start to grab my back, slipper because I want to no hit problem. him with it. Well, well, to be honest, to be honest, the last time Xylee had to be auntie mode is when me and Edward were threatening to whip each other's dicks out to compare dicks during the Death Noodle yeah. stream. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Dude, he we saw the cocks in Dennis's chat, and Edwin was like, "That that cock, look, cock looks pretty good, almost as good as mine." And I was I was drunk, and I was like, "Edwin, I bet I have a prettier dick than you." And he goes, "You want me to whip <laughs> it out?" Your dick. <laughs> like I put eyeliner on my dick to make it look bigger. I put fucking makeup <laughs> oh on mine. God. Chris, that's impossible. Bruh, listen, Edwin backed out because Zyli said no. I was gonna fucking slap it on the keyboard. <laughs> Get banned you know, on YouTube. It, it would have been a little tink. Oh, it would have been a thump. It would have been one of these. What have been yeah, like that? Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> okay, buddy. To be honest, if it's that big, it's not that pretty. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Too Why much do blood. I end up in these conversations? Oh, Why? How drunk are you right now? Oh, I'm totally sober. Dude, I had a great oh, I had a great stream that died four hours in. Had to do it again. Got a got an interview, and then Dennis lost his mind, and now we're here. Zip Zap just came in. What I'm talking about? Poor Zip Zap. Zip Zap, run. Just run. <laughs> zip Zap, run, don't zip, run. Zip Zap, zip, zap run. don't run. Bully Did said. Death Noodle stuff. Uh, uh, the Death Noodle stuff is just funny. He's so fucking stupid. Bruce said that no one whipped it out, and he was sad. I know, I know, Bruce. I'm sorry, I broke your heart. But um, I don't. Oh wait, hold on. I can get a. I can get a bigger fight than you may, but me and you would make a good storyline. Keep being a goon and fight me in a ring like a man. Go get your bag then. Okay, we already talked about this. Like these, these, these tweets suck now. I want Dennis to straight up threaten Cavos' life. <laughs> he already <laughs> did. He already no, said I'm gonna murder I, you. No, I want to end your what are you? you know what would make me laugh? Dennis has never made me laugh once. What he would actually make me fucking laugh at is if he posted a picture of uh, Boogie holding the gun when Frank Hassel went to his house and cropped his face over it. That would be funny. You know what would make me laugh right crazy, now? Crazy Tom. Dude, that was crazy that um, Boogie had that happen to him. I was supposed to do a podcast with him, Rich, and a Camelot, but it never happened. I wanted to ask him. Like, what happened to Hassel? Did he get in trouble for that, or what did he? What did he do? I think did he Bo go back to. I think Boogie got arrested for it. I mean, Hassel was already banned off YouTube, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's he was banned. He had some sh really just not. What do I say? It was like really shit content. But I mean, I hi Zip Zap. Welcome to the fucking degeneracy show. I know yeah. you're used to Spurg Alert, but uh, this is a fucking nightmare. I don't know what the word nightmare. is for that. Edgy. We'll just say it was edgy content. It was your. It was, yeah. it was, it was it's stuff that I would find funny when I was a teenager. Yeah, it's one of those channels that still somehow survived for really long on YouTube, but then finally got its end, you know? Like, back in the day, like, 2014-style content. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what's a great content that should come back? Joey Salad's pissing in a jar and drinking it. Oh, Joey Salad needs to come no, back for that. You. Joey no, Joey Salad needs to start up uploading that shit again. It was the only time he was entertaining. It was when he drank his own piss and put his cock in a uh, hot dog bun. No, thank you. No. Sounds kind of gay. He was going to be a Republican uh, congressman at one point. Too bad he didn't win. Uh, that um, that would have been great. I don't know why Dennis doesn't want to fight in the ring. Oh, my God, Bruce, are you drunk? I mean, he has that punching bag in his home gym to practice on. I mean, good point, Bruce. That is a very valid point. You would assume that Def Noodles is ready to fight anybody. Uh, Minxy, uh, Bunk, you're being asked a question from, uh, one of my, one of the people I collab with pretty often. Minxy, she goes, isn't Bunk like 12? Um, I'm old enough to fuck your mother legally and I will do it. <laughs> Basically, he just said, don't make him make, be, you make become your stepdaddy. That's true. That's true. Hannah says Bunk looks like jailbait. I already made that joke on Fireball. <laughs> Dude, when he took his shirt off last night in that sin debate, I felt so like, oh my god, why am I watching this? Because it's funny. Yo, Zip Zap made a base because fucking point. Because it was point. a funny, it was great. Hmm. Zip, Zip Zap made a base point. Worski should fight Ethan Ralph. They, yep, they would both get knocked out at the same time. That would be fine. I, I don't know, dude. Between Worski and Ethan Ralph... My money's on the heart attack to take Ethan down. Dude, Ethan's gonna die soon if he doesn't lose weight, bro. My, my money's on the liquor. 
what you want cirrhosis of the liver for Ethan? What are, why are we going to just put a canteen together for uh, Ethan Rob's day that he passes? I'm I'm kind of with Nerdy John and cirrhosis of the liver. Dude, you know when as soon as he dies, Nick's going to do a celebration stream. Everyone's going to do a celebration stream. <laughs> Motherfucker. Man, I really like pizza. Who? Pizza. Pizza pizza's great. I know. I used to be I used to smoke lots of weed and I would eat like six DiGiorno, DiGiorno's pizzas like a week. Oh, by the way, Minxie, that was a good interview with Tipster. Oh, I didn't watch any of it. I completely derailed it. I didn't it. watch any of that either. Where, where can I watch that at? Uh, that's oh, actually, channel. yeah, it's actually a friend of mine's channel. Okay, yeah. Uh, he was talking about that. Yeah, okay, Minxie, Minxie's a great content creator. I fucking love the girl. All right, let's see here. Here, do do. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Minxie's channel, right there. There you go. See, Zylie's better at this. Who is this Minxie person? Uh, Minxie's a She's friend an of mine. Awesome person. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She what was. She was some. She does what? like interviews, games. Uh, she yeah. interviews all kinds of content creators yeah. that she finds interesting. We'll watch that later. She does good work. I, I she she DM'd me during the Ackman Quantum thing, and I went on, and we've been Damn, working on shit since. Fucking wild, dude. Not really. <laughs> Not really. I had fun when I did the interview. Damn, you're, now you're just fucking shit talking to your friend. No, uh, well, you said wild in what sense? I thought you said what I was saying was like, oh, you were gonna do a damn that's crazy. That's what my co-host does on my other channel. Is he every time Dude, I say something stupid? You're such an asshole. You should apologize. <laughs> you're fucked up, man. I'm sorry, well, Mixie. Wait. Apologize for Mixie. Funk, it makes sense because we did prove that he's a misogynist. That's I am, true. I am That's not. True. With what logic? You sent me a logic tree of I'm God being able to I, suck I, dick. Well, it's, hey, it's I, not that hey, he's hey, able. Let's see. He knows hey, how I to think, suck dick. I think I proved that the creator, is that... I proved that Chris was racist. No, you didn't. All the creators he's gone after has been are, have been black people. Genevieve Simmons, mm. Quantum TV. Two. You, know, please, you listen, got two. Listen, 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 listen. Despite well, making up thirteen percent of the population, <laughs> black YouTubers commit ninety percent of the copyright abuse. And oh my God. Bug gets removed from the call. <laughs> Goodbye, Bug. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, do this to me. I don't endorse Bug on that. I know. It's, it was sad time. It was uh, oh, oh, you're using a deaf noodles joke. Pixie, <laughs> we can't satire. check Steven's new tweet because we're all blocked. Wait, Steven tweeted about us? Nah. Pitsky, send me that. I think it's a good time to clarify that black people commit more crime on average due to socioeconomic factors. Hold on. Like fact Hold on. Chill, bro. Do you follow me on Twitter? I need to see this DM. Somebody take a screenshot of that and send it to me in the Discord right now so we can look at it. Okay, one sec. I want to see that. You know, it is really right slow right. around this time. Anybody else notice that? What? What's really slow around this time? Twitter is very <laughs> slow. Like, oh, oh I it's, was, like, it's almost like the people you second. follow statistics <laughs> well, will tweet at, like... The time. Hold like, on. You're saying that. Twitter's slow, dude? Look at Keffels and Deaf Noodles right now. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> no, Keffels and I, I Deaf Noodles are fighting. You're lying. You're just a liar. I don't believe that. I got blocked by Keffels. I don't know what she's saying. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I I'm still not blocked. I haven't said anything publicly about her on Twitter, but I've talked to people on live streams and Discord calls yeah. about it. Keffels yeah. blocked me a while ago. And I just got a bunch of different people. I I organized a targeted harassment campaign to get them to unblock. Them. Wait, what is this actually about? Us just developed housing over in Block City for all my most vocal provocateurs and fanatics. What? Wait, what? Show it. Can you it, show it, please? It's in. Oh, Bruce man. just posted it in the general chat. General chat. Let's see what we got here. I don't know why I'm yawning. You're bored, Rep. I can tell. I'm not entertaining you. No, I'm not bored. I'm not entertaining you. Are me and Bunk uh, calling people pedophiles not entertaining you? Uh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, I don't get it. Uh, I don't, you, I don't get it. I don't either. That's why I'm confused. Hey, is the person that blocked you? So yeah, so that's the guy that is uh, Deaf Noodles' co-host. Also, Zip Zap, oh, yes, we are aware of the Craig blocked. Beckett situation. Oh, we just yeah, talked about it for me. a few minutes. So, oh, um, he didn't find you funny, did he? It's, no, it, he didn't. We're, we're trying to determine what's going on with that. Yes. It's 400 well, fucking pages. I need like two nights to read that shit over. <laughs> well, he's best friends with Dennis, so of course. Okay, so just developed housing over Block City for my most vocal 
provocateurs and fanatics. I think he's just talking about how he blocked how everybody. He, blocked everybody. Yeah. he calls it Block City. That's not even funny, you fucking cretin. I don't care. Um, I mean, you're yeah. writing me free housing, so that's pretty. Cool. <laughs> I'm doing better than the government. She, Good she guy. Blew up on me. She did. She she had a word vomit on me, which I. It is a. Uh... Hold on. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> Zipzap is saying that she knows about the Craig thing a little bit more in depth. Okay. Zipzap, DM me everything you know. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, you went through most of it? Here, Hannah. Hannah or Bruce or somebody, send an invite through the link uh, for the Discord so Zipzap could get in. I want to see what she's got to say. I've always wanted a member of Spurg Alert in my Discord. Yeah. Uh He's collecting people from all different channels, you know. Oh, I'm enjoying it. I, I like being, like, like you, Zyla. I like being the middle ground where I could have people like Bunk, people like Zip Zap, people like Repzilla, everybody. I like having I everybody. I think it's awesome. Yeah. I think it's awesome having everybody that any, like, with my channel, with my call in. I love it. You know, I could have a T channel in there with a mm -hmm. comment, with an edgy commentary channel, and everybody just gets along. I love it. Right, can right. I, I love absolutely it. love it. Can I come in to be racist? No. No, zip you zap, cannot. you're fine. Um, what is it? You know you can't be racist on my channel. Like, no, we, we, we don't That's do racism. Mm -mm. Okay, no, thank you, Bruce. Racist. God, you guys won't have let me have anything. No, Bunk, I'll have you on every fucking time. Literally, I'm just trying <laughs> to get you and uh you and Smaggle to fucking work out your problems. Dude, dude, did you see the view I posted about Smaggle today? After you yeah, the one that was a, yeah, a file? the R, the like, rape zip zap or something, the fucking uh, Discord thing? Is that what I'm talking about? No. Oh, I saw no, that in Salvo's server. No, I, want, I, I didn't say anything about raping zip zap. No, I don't. What I want you, you to look you at is I want you to pull this up on stream, on a screen share. What the fuck is this? It's, um, it's funny. That's what it is. Hold on. You want me? Hold on. Hold on. You want me to pull, pull this up on a fucking screen? Screen share yeah, right now? Screen share. <laughs> oh, and Zip okay, Zap, I join the Discord. What'd you tweet? I tweeted it. Uh, thanks, question mark, with three <laughs> laughing cry faces. And that, that, that SF. Zip Zap, let me know when you're in. I'm kind of curious. Also, uh, I need to pull up. I can't show Bunk, Bunk's fucking DMs because they're psycho. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but nothing there is. They're all. You know what? Actually, Chris has the secrets of the universe in their DMs with me. I do. I don't. You guys can't hear anything because my Discord's my fucked. My wub is come. <laughs> I'm, I'm closing this. I'm closing this. <laughs> Bunk, you're just making this worse for yourself. <laughs> Is normal trout zip zap? Where the fuck is this person? God, I'm a big fan of Smaggle Daggle. He's one of my best. You're his number guys. one fan. I'm a big fan of Smaggle Daggle. Oh, come on, Stardust. There it is. Really? All right. We'll talk about Stardust after. Zip zap, you're a VIP now. You could just click into the VIP, uh, the He's live room. He's got to do a Craig Beckett. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about that right after we hear about zip zap because I'm very curious. Okay. Uh,. It seems like Craig has been running for since that uh since Tipster got mad at him or something. Am I wrong? Wait, Probably say wrong. that again, Repzilla, I'm sorry. So when uh Tipster got mad at him, right? Mm hmm And then he's been running since then. Or he's been or has he been running before then? Mm hmm He's that been running his whole life. He's been running forever, man, from what I understand. Uh, I, I don't know. The Tipster thing was kind of weird because I went over the DMs with Tipster on my live stream one night, and it's it just didn't look good. Like, Craig was... Oh, yeah, I'm starting to remember. Yeah. So he provoked, like, the situation that happened with the goth mommy stuff, right? Yeah, he was the one that kind of, like, tried to portray Tipster as somebody who was, like, cheating on his wife or something like, like that. He was, like, being, like, an evil henchman master. He was pushing the girl to drop the DMs. That's what he That's was doing. Funny. Yeah. I single hand. I've seen all this more going on with AP over the last minor. week. So don't forget. All right. Hold all on. that was going on. Talking to a minor. Cool. All right. Zip Zap's going to join us in a second. So what did Stardust say hey, while great. we're waiting yeah. for Zip Zap? All right. I'm sharing the screen. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see what's going on with that. In her most uh, perfect form. Thank you. Who's next? My enemies always lose. We're all fucked. 
That was an hour ago. Does she and then know? Remember, Stardust is nearly twice the age of Lyrix and is trying to clown on him for being a baby. So. Yeah, Craig, what do you do with people you're twice the age of? Do I want to know? Yeah, Ooh. stuff. I'm the same age as you, and I get laid regularly. Oh no. We're all fucked. We're all fucked. Craig is so cringe. We're all fucked. 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 Revzilla, have you seen his parody on a Billie Eilish song? I have not. You do you want to lose brain cells? Oh, that's a little bit AIDS. I don't have I'm any not more. Gonna lie. Do you want to lose the last few that you have? <laughs> oh, I wasn't. I wasn't wrong about that Stardust tweet, then, huh? No. It's a little, it's just a little AIDS. Little, little AIDS, AIDS. Little AIDS. Little AIDS. Little AIDS. You know, a little AIDS in life goes a long way, guys. Nothing wrong with some AIDS. Keeps things keeps things interesting. Okay, he said that she was the exact same age as her in that clip, and she's saying she's 31. What? I don't mean they're closer in age, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know, shit, dude. This is, uh, fuck. I mean, uh, I'll be honest. Can I be, can I be honest? I, I don't give a single damn about the pedo shit anymore. Everyone's a fucking pedophile. It's so, pedophile, it's so old, bro. It's an old I beaten don't topic. Care. Listen, if Lion Maker was around here around today, I wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> okay, what about I wouldn't EDP? Go that far, but... Well, obviously I would care about EDP. Oh, you care about EDP, but no one else. Oh, uh, well. Ooh, I did I catch you in a lot? <laughs> oh, bonk. Wait, can I ask a question that I, I'm trying to figure out if it's real or not? Did Chris Chan really escape? No, it's fake. No. no. Oh, okay. We all, the, uh, people were like tweeting at me for it. And I was like, what? Chris Chan broke out of jail? But no, it's not real. It came off of a 4chan thread because Kiwi Farms is down. So 4chan's basically taking people, over. People literally just make shit up. Yeah. About uh, Christine. I have I to ask know. you, Bunk. I'm like genuinely curious about your thought process of Christine actually transitioning. Do you actually believe Christine transitioned? That's such a tough one, right? He's going silent. He has no answer to this. I'm rewatching the Stardust thing. I don't like hold large animosity towards Stardust. It's just kind of like really poorly edited. Yeah. Um, you're gonna edit like a like a. A 30 second clip. I, I don't know why it's edited like that. It's kind of like a little silly. Yeah, it's it, that that entire thing just doesn't look good. Uh, I, I, I would assume Stardust is trying to own Craig. <sighs> yeah, apparently. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. This is actually, this is legitimately the meme that I made like like ages ago. That like everybody who detracts from me is a pedophile because that one person was like a pedo by by incident. Like, <laughs> right? Wait, what the fuck? Somebody Death Water just wrote my chat. I don't care about age unless that age ends in teen or is a single digit. The answer is no. <laughs> what? Who are you, bro? <laughs> Why is AD30 everywhere? I don't know. AD30 loves the community. What's up, Zip Zap? Nice to finally talk right. to you. So, Craig Becca, the whole situation, I just want to preference. Yeah. A lot of this stuff is alleged. Yeah, of we course. We don't have the other side of the DMs yet, but what's been proven so far, like, not proven, but basically what's been, like, sort of the whole claim has been basically, uh, one of the claims that was made was he asked for pictures of her naked in a tub or something. Along those lines, basically just, uh, you know, inappropriate pictures that you shouldn't be asking for a 17-year-old, right? So and one side, yes, yeah, she's 17. That's what the victim has said. Um, one of the biggest uh, things that sort of maybe vet her story in the DMs are very, we don't have the other side, like I said, but this sort of lines up with one of the claims that she's making. I just want to preface that. Um, I'll send the tweet in general that I made. Because I looked through this a bit. I didn't go through all of it because it's like 400. I just went through the important bits mm -hmm. that I could see. And um, what I found was this. So let me go to general. What did you find? Let's hmm? see here. Oh, boy. Something that almost vets her story, but we don't have the other side of the EMs. Let's see here. Stuff like I said, a lot of this stuff is alleged. I just want to make that clear. It has been proven. Um... The only thing that I can say, like, 
I don't think anything's really been proven yet, but it is very suspicious that, like, uh, Craig would just delete his Twitter and deactivate. It definitely certainly is very suspicious. Um... But this whole situation is suspicious all around. So how? Let me just ask you this because I'm I'm new to this. I'm just trying to figure out. The only thing I know is that Tipster DM me and said Slug's going over something involving Craig. So I'm learning about this now. So Did, um, what? This is a, this is a question, oh, Tommy could cover this. Hmm. What? Tommy. No. Could this. No. Tom, Tommy doesn't like covering stuff involving people he's worked with. Oh, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, so what? So what? Right here, what? What made this individual go to Slug in the first place is kind of like where I want to go with this, and then the DMs itself. Wait, what this person with the Slug? That's where this story broke. Tipster told me that oh Slug is gosh. interviewing her. So, yeah. th- so this she throws a monkey slug. wrench. This throws a so, monkey wrench into everything. Um, I have a question. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Is there a place in the, the DMs where it's confirmed that Craig knew the age of this girl, or was it just kind of? Like that? She said her age. There is a uh, DM showing that I can show. I can. Oh, one oh, second. No, I'll take your word for it. I don't care enough to have you go fetch it. Yeah. I go. So what are uh, we looking Craig at? Craig is twenty-seven, by the way. Hmm. What are we looking at? Is now it... he's twenty-seven. Oh. Okay. okay. So this is one of her claims. She said uh, one of her claims was, "Tell me why a grown man wanted to see me naked in the shower," right? Mm-hmm. And so the DMs go, which means, what she says is, which means I'm home alone for around 20 minutes at a minute. And she goes, yep. And we don't know what she's responding to. But like I said, this seems like it's going along with one of her claims. And she goes, and I, I have a shower. And then she just says, maybe. And then she sends like a few more DMs down the line. She talks about a swimsuit. Mm-hmm. And then uh, further down in the DMs on this, I believe on the same day. I can go check it real quick. Um, she goes, she sends him a picture of her in the tub. Interesting. Has she said that she sent him anything inappropriate? Um, Craig ha- has Craig asked or? Has, has Emmy said that she sent anything inappropriate? Uh, most of her claims that she says, uh, basically there's, I, I can read out her whole tweet longer. Not twit longer, but her just thread. She's put out a twit longer? Not a twit longer, but a whole thread. Oh, okay. Um, basically, what she's trying to say is uh, Craig wanted to, like, ask for things and ask for pictures. And, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, That's I'm gonna, about it. You should pull... Well, you know... Oh, sorry. He, Such as, like, her in a swimming costume, just swimsuit stuff. Still kind of creepy. It's yeah. I wonder if he deactivated because he was talking to, to more than Emmy. That's 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 kind of how I'm looking at it a little bit. Whole situation just sketchy all like around. I don't know. Emmy has been involved in another allegation. I'm pretty sure from what I've been told. Um, Re- but I haven't seen that. What she has a repeat history of like flirting with other creators. I, from what I was told, apparently yes. Hmm. Jesus Christ. But I don't want to start anything that's false. So. Wait, are you talking about As Man? No. Okay, well, the only reason why, because she was connected to that story and I covered that story. Oh, Where she's that... connected to that story, so yeah, I guess I am right, so yeah. Okay. Oh, she was the one uh, I was supposed to cover but didn't cover or something? Yes. Yes. I still don't know who it is. It's okay. It's all it's right. Okay. It's he's, all right. He's, he's a dick. Um, but here's my thing Ugh. about this. If it wasn't for the girlfriend tweeting out what she tweeted out, like, let's be honest and let's look at this objectively. You don't see his, all you see is loading up top. You don't see his name. And obviously you don't see his side because he deactivated, right? And the only reason why you know it's Craig because it's set in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, there's really not a lot there. I mean, best best it looks like we can do is just, you know, just say it's alleged. Yeah. You know? yeah, that's why I'm not covering it. There's not more to go off of. Man. Yeah, exactly. Uh, she needs to... I think the people who encouraged her, because I did hear that people encouraged her to come out with this, uh, they should have encouraged her to come out with it after she got her data from Twitter so she could have full conversations. Right. That mm-hmm. That's something that um I was talking to... I'm not, I'm not going to say who... Um, 
they were they were saying that they want like the full archive of like to, uh, uh, Craig's tweets and to like gain access to it somehow. But there's there's no real way to do that unless unless somebody he gains it. Yeah, unless you yeah, reactivate. Yeah, Hannah. It was it was it wasn't her. It was her friend with Asman. No, you're correct, Hannah. It was. Right. But I'm saying she was connected to that story though. That's so, what I'm saying. So this is the problem that we're all facing right now because. And I think Nick DiOrio stated it best because Nerdy John just sent me the tweet from Nick's cha- uh, Nick right now. I'm someone who likes to think they could see in the future and anticipate things that are going to happen. Someone who is always playing the long game. That being said, I didn't expect Craig Beckett to flee the internet before Twit Longer releasing a release accused him of a crime. So I don't think anyone saw this fucking coming. And the problem is, is that the person fucking covering this and broke the fucking story is slug. And I can't I trust... Yeah, I can't trust a word out of okay. Slug's mouth. Now, here's so my this second is like question. The biggest joke in this community. Here's yeah. my second question. In the UK, is it legal? Because yeah. they're both know. in the UK. Because if they're both in the UK, and if it's legal in the UK, then we it, can't throw American standards onto that. Exactly. Is how I feel. It's still creepy. Like, Re- Repzilla is right. I, mean, I think it's creepy. It's creepy. creepy. Of course. Yeah. So True. Let me see. It's, all, it's all creepy. Yeah, I'm going to go to Japan to fuck a 13-year-old. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bunk. I am so done with you. I love you, Bunk. Bunk, you, you make my life complete. Bunk, you great right? debate Peace yesterday. Look, what now? We great yeah. debate. I, I, you you're going to have to speak up, honey. I said great debate. Thank you. I appreciate it. That. It would kind of be like the pirate. Is somebody situation. leaving right now? Bunk. You, bunk. You, yeah, I'm leaving. Bunk, when you have right, to do a stream again, all right? We're going to do a stream. We we have to do a stream again, all yeah. right, dude. Just piss off. Just Snyder. anything that isn't pedo allegations. I swear on my. I, I hate this shit too, but it's a topic to talk about. We'll talk about something fun next time. Cool. All right, all right, all right. Jump into my night, stream. Buddy. We'll have fun next time, bunk. Yeah, okay. have a good night. You have too, a good night, bro. Good night. Um, so, you know, uh, as talk, there's a lot of TikTok mm-hmm. allegations that you can talk about. <laughs> it's not really fun to talk about in a live stream or nothing not anything that's like interesting i mean because obviously this is not fun like we're all like dying on the inside but what i'm saying is is like uh if you're looking for views on uh youtube tiktok stuff usually generates good bit oh yeah definitely i've seen that tiktok so much TikTok you can grow on there so easily the, though. the audience is there everybody hates tiktok yeah, yeah. tiktok is cancer um, look at the nick guy that fucking broke into gabby hannah's house yeah yeah i should cover that I, but, did, no, I did. I did. Grab your hand and stuff. I, I, I've been trying to stay away from. You should influence. I would just stay away from it. I like would, the whole Gabby yeah. Hanna situation just messed up in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, they filmed this girl who's like having a mentally like mm-hmm. a mental breakdown almost. So I just and, covered Nick and only Nick, the guy who broke in. Like I only covered that mm-hmm. guy because he his his allegations of like. Well, she allowed Chris, me. Chris, I came back in to say this. I'm looking back at the. Did you just Google Google on your live stream? <laughs> Fuck yes! <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! God damn it! Okay, um, Katie said it's sixteen. No, she's not alleging a crime took place. She's alleging Craig's a creep. But the what? way that Slug Stream was framed, from what I understand, is that she yeah, was insinuating grooming. How? The- How? I'm, I'm not talking about that. I'm sorry. AD30 is like, snap, he's right there every time I tweet. Like, fucking instantly. Dude, it's and within he has a bot, seconds. I believe. It's within I, seconds. I'm sc- he's a bot. I be- No, he's not a bot. I'm just saying I believe he's using a bot. He is using a bot. Yeah, Probably. I wanna... yeah, thanks, for, thanks for putting me on that bot, man. It makes me feel like I'm not alone out here on the internet. I know, right? That's why Mudahar quit Twitter today. It's just scary. But, uh, like you ever seen that there's... meme where Spongebob pokes out the, pokes out the, the mailbox? Yeah, <laughs> he's that yeah. guy. Yeah. There is something I do want to add to, like, the whole conversation about Craig Beckett. The only thing that can, like, the story for it to even go further is Craig needs to make a response or he's just going to leave the internet. Like, it's not going to progress unless Craig makes a statement Which or I don't think just, Craig like, will. reveals. No, yeah, he won't. Probably, you know, he made a video on me, so he's probably gone. <laughs> probably. <laughs> he's scared of Rebzilla. Damn it, Rebzilla. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I ever leave, that's what he's going to say. She made videos yeah, on right. me. <laughs> how how like, yeah, you left, but you know why she's because she made some videos on me <laughs> god damn Revzilla. it revzilla god damn it. but like this this is the thing i'm kind of like and i agree with you zip zap that he needs to make a response but the problem is is that based on the situation right now and how it was framed from what i understand in slug stream again i haven't seen it but from what i've heard 
they are framing it as grooming allegations. Mm -hmm. That's the frame that so they're using. And Slug is basically putting American law and ideals into an English law and ideals, which, again, we can all agree is fucking creepy and weird that he was 29 talking to a 16-year-old across yep. the board. doesn't matter what country you're in, but the age of consent is that. It's not necessarily a crime. It's creepy, but not a fucking crime. Like, he can't go to jail. Like, it's almost like two different conversations. Like, yeah. we're talking about it's, it's fucking creepy, and then we're talking about, like, well, is it legal? It's, if it's legal in their country... That's fine. That that conversation, yeah, you know, that's, that's good. But the other He's one, right there. creepy. Yeah, that it, it's 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 just a weird fucking situation. And, and there's no reason to be talking to somebody that young as no. Uh, you know, I I I, 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 I do not uh, talk to girls that are that young. I have uh, talked to the youngest at like 23, and even that's difficult because it's just like. There's it's a generational so gap. It's like two, two different journeys going on, and I already been through that one. It's like I'm not mm -hmm. trying to be somebody's mentor. What what I'm more concerned about is the sheer fact of, and I know it's annoying to keep saying his name, but like the fact that Slug was the one that got this info, and Slug is framing it this way, and everyone's writing the fact that this is it. This is like the Onision thing all over again in the beginning. Really, nobody. Definitely, that's what I was thinking. He's framing. What's he framing it as? From what I understand. And Zip Zap, correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, he's framing it as a grooming allegation. I'm not sure how Slug's framing yeah. it. I haven't even seen the interview with Slug. From what but, I've heard, um, through the grapevine, that's what I'm hearing. But I, don't quote he me saying, on that. Like, how oh, about... you poor baby? Oh my god! I'm like, oh my god, dude. Okay, okay, dude. That's See, Slug has no credibility though. So it's like anything he says is like taken with a grain of salt. I feel. Eh, too bad the salt doesn't fucking shrivel up his channel. <laughs> he, uh, um, he harassed me with with the uh, lobster talk. Yeah. What? Yeah, I had to ban him from my Discord server. Yeah, he he, <laughs> he kept trying to invite me to a fucking Minecraft SMP. There was Didn't that have a uh, Mama Max in it? The SMP? Uh, I don't know. Hold on. Some Max character for sure. Uh, whatever happened with that? Is that just die off and done with or? No, nothing yeah. about that situation. I'm just going to be honest with you. I didn't pay attention to it. Did he ever do anything about that situation, or he just let it go? So, yeah, I don't even know. Hold on. Edwin covered it. Edwin did a great job on it, I what? heard. Oh, God. Dennis quote tweeted Cavos. I mean, de quote, Dennis quote tweeted Keem. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Jesus. Uh -oh. Here we go. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, let me read it out loud for the class. As I said, I'll buy a ticket and meet him. Oh, so Keemstar writes, Cavos, Deaf Noodles, I will 100% be unbiased and help both of you set up an A proper boxing match. Deaf Noodles, as I said, I'll buy a ticket and meet him in his country within the week to fight on the street. He can live stream it since he's so desperate for money. I have zero interest in boxing this man because boxing is not a real fight. Move the fuck on if you don't like it. Oh, God, Dennis, you're such a pussy. He quote tweeted Willie Mack. Too. Yeah, I was, about to, I was about to read that. Quote tweeted Willie Mack. So, Willie Mack, Cavos is trying to get on a boxing card against Dennis so they can both make money and be entertaining. Dennis instead threatens to murder Cavos. Lol. Dev Noodles, he wants a fight that let's actually fight, not do pussy boxing shit with rules. <laughs> Zip Zap, have you been following Dude, any of this? Honestly, Noodles Dude. should do it. He should. What would Willie say? Will, Willie's just like, lol, these guys aren't even entertaining, but they're trying to be entertaining by getting money on a boxing card. <laughs> so, okay, Willie's just making fun of both of them. <laughs> Willie's making fun of everyone. Willie's doing Willie things. Dude. Dennis ain't gonna fight nobody. Nah, Dennis is a pussy. He, cry he cries in uh, in videos. You know, you know that. Think about it. The videos are like pre-planned, so he's sitting there like crying, and he's like, uh, "I gotta do this thing," and I sound like an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, you're yeah, right. It's though. all. It's just performative, it, honestly. Kind of, uh, it's all performative in the worst ways possible. <laughs> yeah. I think, that he, I think he should do it though, just because I'd like to see that. I would, um, I would fly to England to watch that. I know this is off topic, but what do you all think about the Keffel situation? I have a lot to say about that, but I don't know if I should. I, I don't I'm not rap, saying anything about rap. Keffel. Rap, listen, we, me and you, buddy, one-on-one, -on -one, I'm, I'm willing to maybe, hear you maybe out. Off Here, here's the thing. I'm, I'm not afraid to talk about it publicly, but at the same time, it's I don't want to because 
it comes with the possibility that you're going to be attacked by a horde of angry, people. vulnerable people. So this and is that, yeah. That is annoying. So and this I cannot do that. So this is my so this, so this is my feeling towards it, and I, I respect you on that. I don't give a fuck that these people want to try and fuck with me. You you don't have to come on if you're uncomfortable with that. I totally respect that. For me, this is a conversation that needs to be fucking had because this is ridiculous. Like how? I mean, it's a very serious conversation, yeah. not a hundred percent, because what she's doing is at, it's dangerous. It's, it it's is. In- it's very dangerous, and she she's yeah. going about it in the way that she's criticizing Kiwi Farms for. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, she is. It is a hundred percent hypocritical. She is employing the same tactics. Actually, go Google Kiwi Farms. Look what it says the definition of Kiwi Farms is, and I guarantee you, she's employing the same tactics. I, I know for a fact. I, I did it earlier. She's fighting with fire, man, and the fire is getting bigger. Fighting it's getting fire out of control. With fire. Now she's and verified I, on Twitter. I don't know how Twitter verified an account that is blatantly doxed people. And that's another thing. That's another thing. If you if you tweet about it publicly, because she has a verification, it's her her Twitter. Uh, it has more swing now, <sighs> for lack of better words. Well, I'll just put it this way. Um, I agree with Nicholas Diorio. I told him so on the stream. Um, I'm not going to sit there and feel sorry for someone who went to a beehive with a baseball bat and started swinging and wondering why the bees sung you. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. I mean, it shouldn't happen, obviously, but a lot of these, like, tactics remind me of Ralph. This is Ralph. Well, that's why Ralph endorses her now. I don't know anything about Ralph. Uh, what's up, Matt? He employs the same tactics as Piffles. I know. Almost. Yeah. I just think that uh, what she's doing is like stupidly dangerous, yep. mm-hmm. and she's acting like it's like a revolution, and she should not be weaponizing her. Uh, I don't even know what, what to call it, transgender activism, if that makes sense. I, like no, maybe she's I'm... weaponizing this thing that she has, this mm-hmm. platform that she has, and uh, she's going after people's careers and jobs, sending people in the direction of people's families, which by collateral damage could you know, potentially mm-hmm. involve people, which is just stupid and reckless. Can I, and... can I ask the panel here based on the situation involving Keffels and Matt, you, you jumped in at the right time. Cause I was actually going to ask you this later um, in regard to how she's actually handling this and how creators are responding to her. Do you think it's just going to get worse as it goes and just be a fucking nightmare do you think that this is something that we should talk about? Because she's insinuating that all the commentary channels are against her because we use Kiwi Farms as a reference, which is untrue. Like, how how does everyone feel about that concept? Because for I've her, I've never her, used Kiwi. Farms. Yeah, I don't. Never. I don't understand what she's going at with that. I uh, I might have used it when I first started on the platform, but uh, once I learned that it was frowned upon, and it very much is frowned upon. Uh, we don't we don't do that that's something that yeah. um we don't do we actively canceled creep show art for using lol cow right so it's like that argument on her behalf is pretty much null and void and mm-hmm. this is i said as much to her in uh you know personally and she uh played stupid and well with creep show art the lol cow thing was like making fun of her friends behind her back People like Turkey Tom use it for reach search because now that he's doing more retrospective content, a lot of the people he covers, you know, they have a Kiwi Farms archive, so it's good to check that for research purposes. So there's a double-edged sword, <laughs> right? There's a double-edged sword, right? And there's a lot of nuance I mean, here yeah. that, that Keffels doesn't really go into. Like, everybody on Kiwi Farms are not pieces of shit, right? Right. They're not, not everybody on Kiwi Farms are not horrible swatters, doctors, stuff like that. It's a minority of people on Kiwi Farms that are very, very obsessed, and they do horrible things. Most of the majority of Kiwi Farms just go in to, like, look at low cows and get info, and maybe they have info on a low cow they want to propose. Like, hey, this dude shit his pants. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, so there's a lot. So I'd, I'd appreciate if Keffel's, like, engaged with that nuance. Like, okay, they're not all bad, but these people right here that are posting my addresses and all this in my thread, uh, these people are bad. Yeah, let me right. clarify what I was saying about that. Um, I'm not knocking pe- – like, when you make a video, you you use all your available resources when you're researching. What I'm saying more so is, like, it's frowned upon to, like, uh, reference it in, out, out loud and, like, feed traffic to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so it's like uh, – so that in retrospect to what she was saying – Dave, I'm so sorry to hear that, man. True. That sucks. And, uh, I'm sorry you lost your cap, It man. just isn't. 
Right. Like we're we're not mad at basically we're not mad at her. This is what she told me personally. She said, uh, she thinks that the commentary community is mad because she, she's trying to take away our biggest source of, uh, I That's guess, content, which is isn't which is entirely false. Like she she assumes that we're using this website for constant news and actual digging through people's information and getting stories on people that's not how it works it's never it's never I've, worked that way yeah the only time i've ever i mean besides when i was a, a you know a green creator um the only time I, i've ever run into it anymore is if i just when i'm googling stuff and i usually go to google images and i google certain things and it'll pop up a picture and i click it oh there, i'm in kiwi farms you know unintentionally and i'm like whoop but there, there's a piece of information i needed you know also, hello, Tipster. Hello. Up, Tipster's hey, just been up? sitting here in silence. Just Tipster, like, what the what's fuck your are opinion you on Craig Beckett? Quick. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tipster, um, we just talked about it. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, didn't I, know that. I know you didn't. Um, oh, you don't have to comment. Not, you don't have to comment. You don't have to comment. I'm not saying, yeah, any, it's I'm all not saying anything until this shit can be vetted. Well, yeah. It's all does related. anybody does anybody know if this girl downloaded her Twitter data archive? I think I she's working. The last time I checked uh, on Slug Stream, I, she was working on it. I guess. Yeah, last time okay. I got told on the sidelines uh, that she's working on it, trying to figure out how to do it, et cetera, et cetera. So okay. well, this show because is yeah, like be because like I don't know if you guys remember with me and the AP stuff. The way that I was able to clear my name is I downloaded my Twitter data archive. Because even though they deactivated, that still shows their side of the conversation. So okay, cool. that's going to be the only Hopefully way. Hopefully she can do that. That's going to be the only way to verify this. The only thing is uh, it gets a little bit complicated because you have to go into the DM archive file. And uh, it doesn't show the conversations based on their username. There's a backend Twitter like numerical ID that's associated with every account. Right. So... Someone who has open DMs with Craig would have to download their archive so they can get his ID. And then we'd have to match it up with her DMs to find the DMs oh, I know that you're about. they had you know, between like, each other. Key type shit? What's that? Like when you when you do the inspect key in the back end, like you read, when you're reading the codes of the well, website? No, let, 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 me, let me show you. Let me show you. you I, actually, cause I have Because I have uh, some some of the data on me. Because like I said, I had to do this when I had to clear myself yeah. uh, from out of context DMs or whatever. But uh, how, how should I do this? Um, fuck it, I'll just screen share. Just don't show it on stream because we're talking about like private DMs here. But um, let me share it with you guys so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't think this story's ever gonna progress. Honestly, I don't the think only, it's going the, anywhere. The the only way that you can prove that he said inappropriate shit is with this, if we get the Twitter data archive. So when you download your Twitter data, it comes into a little package that looks like this. What we need is this data folder in here is a full a file called okay. directmessages.js. Mm -hmm. When you open this, it literally opens up an entire archive of every DM you have with everyone. Uh, and like I said, it doesn't go by username. If you look here, uh, it'll say the recipient ID. This is the person who received it. This is their Twitter number ID. Everybody has a number ID associated mm -hmm. with their account. And then it'll also say the sender. That's their number ID. Mm -hmm. So we have to find out what Craig's number ID is. Uh, the best way to do that is anybody who has DMs with Craig, um, they have to download their data too. Doesn't so we can AP, find the ID. Doesn't AP have open DMs with Craig still, or did she delete everything after the craziness? I don't think she does. Uh, okay. I I mean, I have DMs with him. I can download my data. You could. So, hmm. Yeah, but this is what we need. We need we need this uh, so we can see. Because when, when AP dropped the stuff on me after she did it, she de deactivated her account. Um, and so this was the only way I can get her side of the conversation to show that things were taken out of context. That's so fine. I downloaded this data and I found like where her DMs were with me in the conversation. Mm -hmm. And then that I was able to show like, okay, this is what she showed. This is the part she cropped out. Here's another DM she showed. Here's the rest of the context for that. So this would be the only way to see what he said. She needs to get this data. 
maybe try like getting in touch with her and seeing if you can get that off. I can't touch this. Off. I'm tainted. If I get involved yeah. with this, like people are gonna frown upon that. Nope. So I'm not getting involved. Yeah, tips are. Right. I don't blame anyone were... not getting involved. I was about to say well, tips because like I have I have person. I have bad history with the guy, right? So if I get involved with this shit, people are just gonna frown on like, oh well, well of course tips wants him to biased. be guilty. Yeah, they'll they'll consider yeah, exactly. you biased. So has, yeah. uh, has Twitter always been like that, where if you delete your account, your DMs go away? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. somebody putting a thread out there saying it doesn't do that. Uh, yeah, it does. I've had plenty of people that I've been in DMs with before that have deactivated. Is it somebody? Is it system. somebody? Is it somebody just yeah, no. interference? Or... On mobile, sometimes you get lucky, where like if it's you've recently viewed the DMs, it's still in cache for a bit, so you can mm -hmm. view them for a little bit. But if you wait too long, yeah, they go yeah. away. Yeah, yeah, if anyone has doubt, I got DMs with Craig Beckett and they're all gone. So yeah. like yeah. No, yeah, I, could, I, I, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see mine either. I seen like what I sent him when I was like taunting him. Like and I wonder what all he wanted to hide. I wonder why. I, I bet I wonder he, why he I took bet... it all down. Probably because he's a freak. Honestly, I'm just well, gonna be like. I remember there was one it. time. I'm I'm such a dummy. He... I realized I was just not. I wasn't screen sharing properly. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, so I was showing was, you the uh, actual well, archive tip, file. Tips, are you aware I'm live right, right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, okay, I, cool. I you know just wanted did to make you show sure. it on stream. Wait, testing, testing. Hello. I think yes, I did. did. I think I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's a good thing I didn't share it properly then, because there you go. Yeah. Hello, yeah. hello. Can you hear <laughs> me? Bad. I don't Is my mic on? on? Can I'm sorry, tips. Right, I don't know what's going on. Yes, yes. Smiley Jesus. Did you have a boomer moment? No, I was being Papa Good. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Oh, you were gonna. But yeah, you were gonna cry. Basically, we we need that direct message file, and if we don't get that, then there's no way to verify it right. i'm not covering it until i see both sides yeah no it's, I'm not it ever. it's like the Marvel i don't Max think thing. anyone I should touch it. yeah i don't want to touch it i don't think it's a i don't think i don't think it's worth like an actual deep dive investigation unless more mm -mm. comes out you know it's just, it's something that we all collectively just shouldn't fucking touch because there's no reason I mean, for it I, i'm gonna be upfront and honest with you if this stuff could get vetted and like i said i'm not gonna be in a part of the vetting process but if this does get vetted, like I have no problem covering it at that point. <laughs> like, y'all, y'all know how I feel about Craig. I would love to see that motherfucker burn. All right, so I'll, I'll I'm not touching it until it gets vetted. Period. You really feel tipster, Jesus Christ? <laughs> oh, I, I will go scorched earth on this motherfucker if yeah. that shit's real. If it's, I'll be, I'll be right there going get him. Do get it. him, get him, get it's him. Like, it's like y'all, it's like y'all kind of like fronted on my shit when I put out my shit out there, but like, oh. Let's go, dude. If this shit's real, let's fucking go, dude. I gotta. I mean, I honestly, just from the DMs that I've seen and, and how he's behaving, I don't doubt it. Uh -huh. But if it's not, if it's not verified, you can't cover it. Exactly. Obviously. You can't. Like run I said, with those. I think we, it's safe to assume he's creepy. You know. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it just seems to line up, and I even like said that in my tweet that it's all alleged because. And... I don't yeah. think anyone should seriously cover this unless, like, we get the other side because that's the only way it's progressing. I've said yeah. this multiple times, but that's the only way. I agree. Yeah, that's that's the only that's the only way. Yeah, I agree yep. with you, Zip Zap. Yeah, 100%. you can't you can't jump on this. Like, we can talk about it because it's happening right now, but like any sort of like conclusive evidence or any sort of like conclusion to it and saying, well, this is what happened. We we can't do that. Nobody can. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yep. see this really going anywhere. No. I mean, the only kind of confirmation we kind of have, but then again, it's a kind of, still not covering it, is his girlfriend tweeting out, you know, think trying to destroy a person's life because he didn't pick you. Well, then there's also the concept like, of, then, then there's also the factor that Craig completely deactivated his Twitter the day before this happened. Wait, Craig's uh, wife or girlfriend or whatever said something? Is yeah, what... yeah, tweeted yeah. at the girl. Yeah. Oh, she, she I tweeted didn't, I didn't out. See, where's this tweet at? Hold on. Because last time I checked, I didn't see anything. Eight hours ago, she tweeted out, imagine trying to destroy a man's livelihood simply because he didn't pick you. Who, where, can, where can I read this? Uh, yeah, can we get it, a I'll link put to it the general. tweet? Hold on, I'm giving, hold on guys, I got this. Auntie Xylee is on the case. Trying to put so much pressure on Xylee, Jesus. I know, my God. Okay, there He's you so go. Hungry. I put it in general, general chat in this Discord. My, okay. My poor general chat see Why do all these people have just like the I don't know how to explain like the most dramatic crusty names Imagine like a lost soul? Probably hood since he didn't pick you. I'll be honest, Zip Zap, I was thinking that too. 
There's something <laughs> obviously wrong with that. Hold on. Okay, to be fair though, Zip Zap didn't like my sandy vagina on my can, name for a while. Can I also be? Look, oh no, I wait, did not YouTube's like gonna that. Ban, YouTube's gonna <laughs> ban me if I make I this did joke. It, though, no, I don't know why you did it. Because um, like Death Noodles called me Sandy yeah. Vagina on his podcast. Shouldn't she be more thing. concerned that her boyfriend was talking to the minor? You, you would you would think, I don't right? Know what their relationships like? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna get banned on YouTube. I thought that was his wife. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he's said that's his wife. I, I could mm. make a joke about it. I have her, but no I'm not, idea. I'm not gonna. I don't. Joke. don't. Oh, I don't know if joke. that's his wife or his girlfriend. I'm, I have I'm no pretty. Idea. I'm pretty sure he said that's his wife. I'm gonna get banned if I make this joke about what she. Okay, then like. don't make the joke, Chris. <laughs> I can't help it. It might happen on stream. Someone can dig through her account and check if it's like real or whatever, because I don't know. On, I know for a fact that they are in a relationship together. I just yeah. don't know for a fact if it's his wife. I think it is, but I'm not sure. They're you know partners. What? That's the point. They're partners. Because when, because when I was, uh, you know, basically teasing that I knew some shit that he didn't want me to know, she was the first one that came at me to defend her man and shit. So, yeah. I archived it. I got the Wayback Machine thing, Google thingy on the taskbar thing. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. you just click a button and it'll archive it. I've been archiving all kind of shit. Feels powerful. Did you archive the death threats from Death Noodles today? No, I didn't. Nah, those are staying but up. That is a delete. She looks old. She looks like an older <laughs> woman. I can say Nick a lot is more. Going scorched earth over this shit. I would actually be satisfied she, if we saw less of him. Craig. Yeah, Hope he just leaves actually. and never comes back. <laughs> Nick never liked Craig, so like Nick is because uh... Craig's annoying. He's cringe, bro. That I'll be real. He butchered that Billy Eilish song. Bad guy. Yeah. Well, I'll just say this: it's kind of funny Biggest that you know it, it turns out to be true. It's kind of funny that he tried to convince someone to make me out to be a creep, and he ends up yeah, being the one. True, then he's, okay. I think it's funny that he helped out Mama Max, and the whole time he was talking to her. Uh, that is ironic. allegedly. Allegedly allegedly, 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 for entertainment allegedly, purposes only. Allegedly, allegedly. Wait, all this is alleged. All alleged, <laughs> but ironically funny. Everything's alleged, and I just about anything that is. Uh, Craig sketchy. Beckett is another commentary yeah. channel Amen. that tried to expose Tipser for some bullshit, well, I mean, and it was I, all fake. That's all you gotta know. On that archive, because that would say a lot. It'd be more investigating than slugs. That down. would literally. That would literally. It's the only thing it. that could progress it, honestly. Yeah, well, I mean, we are. I am for out. progress. This is my this is my take as of now. If if it was just flirting, then like you can call him a creep. But I mean, nothing can really be done. I Not mean, yeah. We let Pyro back in, and he literally sent furry porn. To someone, well, I will so. say, I will say, um, I have read almost all four hundred of them. Uh, I've been reading it since like about uh, about five o'clock this afternoon, on and off. And there are some parts where it kind of looks like some. Whoever they are typing to, whoever, because we don't know for a fact, you know, uh, it, it, it was some sexting going on, it looked like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 The message, do, like the messages back and forth, they do like yeah. about sexual topics and everything. From what it, the other side, it looks like. Yeah. But otherwise, we don't know. Yep. So we, we need to see what was said on the other side, and we need to confirm that it's him saying it. Period. Like, yeah. I don't understand why she wouldn't just like do everything beforehand instead of just give 400 like screenshots yeah instead of just like do that first because that muddies the water a bit and you don't want that in anything like this yeah I, I, I know you want context knows. but jesus christ like you probably wasn't thinking about none of that yeah yeah we would think about that but... you can get 400 really screenshots but you can't give like another screenshot of the other side i don't know that just seems fishy to me i it think i think it I think it's like more like uh, sketchy if it's like if if these because you know a lot of these allegations that have come out in the past they'll come out really pretty packaged like this was a whole planned out thing and you're just right. like damn like, like an op yeah like gay ops a little bow on it and everything's shining yeah okay this yeah because well that's situation. the thing if she would have came out with both sides of the mm -hmm. whole entire conversation since January people would have said oh you were running ops on him right. This is the, this is the thing I think everyone's learned from like nobody wants to do what I'm Alex did the Slazo and like just mm -hmm. run with allegations. Obviously, if they were what in Slazo's case they were fake, 
but like nobody wants to run with that 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 fucked up the entire conversation of like pedophilia allegations and sexual assault allegations on the platform is like my my reference as a viewer before you know doing youtube and everything how i look at it is like the slazo situation where the, all that information was being put out people were doubling down on it it was fake it was not accurate whatsoever same you know there's a lot of factors that and situations that have taught us not to run with this shit and in craig's case we can't be certain no matter what is put out mm -hmm. until we actually see all the actual information and the back and forth between her and craig and it's confirmed craig then we can maybe speculate more but nobody can really say anything of certainty by the way, I hate that y'all motherfuckers, as soon as you realize I was on the call, you asked me this shit. Fuck uh, you guys. Matt, hey, hey, listen, Matt's the one that yeah, did it. That was Matt. Yeah, fuck you for we that. Man. Yeah. 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 You know what's fucked? Yeah. You know what? I bet this motherfucker saw my tweet when he said that shit, yes. too, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> of course and Matt did. Know, well, hold on. What do you think? What was even the age gap with Slazo? Uh, I, I forgot the whole situation, but uh, I know it was, like it was two pretty years, two three years. Two like, years. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was something stupid. It was something stupid, and I'm Alex is yet to say anything about it. Still, um, Matt, I wanted to ask you because you dragged you you dragged me out of my fucking live stream for some stupid shit. We can talk about it later, but I have a bone to pick with you, <laughs> like yeah, later. No, up? later, 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 later. Do it now. No, because they're because the now. individual in questions in the chat right now, Matt. Uh, I know. I know you know. Oh, no. we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk about it later. Um, you guys covered it on Spurg it Alert. On Zip -zap. No, we didn't. Oh, you didn't? No, we didn't. Oh, you didn't? We didn't cover that. No. What? Okay. I, no, I didn't touch that. All right, I'm going to cover it on my channel, though. Uh, no, no, no. It's, no. it's so Spurgy. No. It's so Spurgy. <laughs> Dude, this was too Spurgy for Spurg Alert. Don't even cover it. How is it? I looked into it. I was Dude, I looked into it, right? And... He's like accusing her of being docs or whatever when she didn't outwardly dox him or what it's it's so like muddied and I just did not want to cover it. And plus it's ghosty of all people who this guy has like a past of um mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's very muddy. other people. It's yeah, spurgy it's shit. just spurgy. it's just no, it's just it's, it, just it's great for a stage on Shop on the Point, which you know yeah. is what is Yeah, what which is which is what I did. I I had an interview with a guy who had his five hundred K's channel stolen and Matt's DM would be like we need you, we need you to clarify this. I'm like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, I don't cover stuff like that. I was like, I why am I being anything. involved in this? And Matt's like, I need you to come on the stage. You <laughs> involved yourself, Chris. I do. You know I had to. <laughs> At the time, I had to. I don't want to be associated with it anymore. Matt Matt basically DM'd you and like, so why don't you take a seat over here? Yeah, Matt 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 Chris Hansen. <laughs> Look, all we were trying. All right, like I don't want to get into this because I don't no, want to make I know. this fucking thing. I know, I know. It's just stream. a joke. It's a joke. Uh, I'm not trying to make this public thing, but I will say, like, we were just trying to get everything settled. Yeah, no, we're trying I get to you. figure out both sides of the situation, and one yeah. side didn't want to talk. So that's really all there that, is to it. That's really it. I I thought it was funny. I just wanted to make fun of you. <laughs> yeah. I know. Also, also, I tweet out a video that needs to be seen by fucking Keemstar, and I see Matt retweet immediately, uh, quote tweet it, and goes. He's what? And he's your fucking leg. You make a leg joke yeah. about yeah. a serious situation. His name's Leg. His name is Leg. Like, what do you want me to do? Oh, fuck it's me. Like, it's like low-hanging fruit. I got to take that. Dude, I'm hoping that Keemstar talks about what I covered today. Or, like, just with that guy. Like, just to have, like, some more media coverage on it. Because it's a it's lot of shit. It's not a fall, brother. He is not going to cover it. I know. But it's something that Keemstar has written songs with this guy. Like he's act, he knows this guy. He just doesn't know anything that's going on because the guy got his tw verified Twitter taken from him and his verified Instagram and everything. So like, I'm, I'm, I just want this guy to get what he's owed. You know what I mean? Yeah. He lost. Matt, check, check Twitter, Matt. What did you check do? Twitter. What did you okay. do, tipster? Uh, uh, hell yeah, I'm gonna retweet that. Fuck Matt Pitt because <laughs> his one legged ass. <laughs> You know, Tommy finally followed me. And he's going to see that I retweeted Yeah, that. you know what? I'm going to retweet that shit, too. That was funny.
That's funny. Any ask, joke... me, ask me that shit after seeing my tweet, you piece <laughs> of shit. This is why you, Matt... Yo, Matt's, Matt's trying to get me in trouble. That's what's happening No, no. no. I just, he's trying to, to get, get me everybody in, trouble, in trouble. He's trying to get me in trouble so people will be like, see, Tipster jumped all over this. It's like, no, I don't want nothing to do with it until Matt, it can be vetted. Matt is irreplaceable in this community. He's a shit starter. <laughs> I, I told Minxie today, too, We because we were doing a... Shout out to Minxie. I was doing an interview with her. Mm -hmm. um, Good interview. I don't... I don't break stories when it comes to shit like this. All right, fuck that. True, dude. that's 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 for slug. That's for slug to do. And then oh, we all shit. pick Wait, apart what slug. What do you mean? Then we all pick what apart do you slug. Mean? What do you mean? What do you what? mean? You broke yeah, the you story. Oh, tips are stupid. Dude, I don't take slug tips seriously. In every drama he's in, no one should take him seriously. No, no. at all. Well, yeah, he was on a live stream. Well, with if me there's any, if there's if there's any more reason to make sure you vet this shit, it's because Slug was involved. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah that's like the main criticism we all collectively have. Yep. Oh my god. So, Jesus. Well, to be honest, Zip Zap, you missed out. No on wonder the live he didn't stream. tell her to get the Twitter data then, because he's fucking incompetent. Yeah, yeah he exactly. Told her, he told her. He told her to get oh, the data. Did. She just couldn't figure it out because it was. Like the Twitter was down or something in England or something. I don't know. Isn't oh, isn't okay. Slug like a research expert in his words? Like his whole job is cyber security. So he claims. Yeah, he's been questioning my fucking cybersecurity credentials recently. Meanwhile, he couldn't even think to have her download her fucking Twitter data. Just another great W by Slug, everybody. Can we just get some W's in the chat for fucking Slug here? <laughs> you know what? Can I be honest about something? Yeah. I really am enjoying Twitter. Twitter's great. <laughs> I'm, I'm sad when it's not when when it's like at night time and like the, their notifications aren't going good. You know, they're like slowing down. I didn't used to feel like this, and then I just I don't. Now I don't care because now I because I, I used to not engage with people that was like I want everyone to, me, to sexually harass I, I Matt I, in the chat right now. I had my reasons. And now I sarcastic I love to do W's. Bro, and isn't fighting so on Twitter? I, fun? I send I send Zali some of my wild conversations. <laughs> he goes because I know you love this. <laughs> dude, isn't fighting on Twitter so much fun, dude? It's fun, dude. dude. I've been fighting dude. with um fucking Steve for the past two days. <laughs> you love? No, the comedian, the Death Noodles black friend. Oh yeah, okay. What yeah. happened to Steve D Love? Uh, he's supposed to be on fireball right yeah and i might be joining willie uh as his co as his partner maybe i'm not sure yet didn't he like what not rip Zion's ex or something yeah he still does yeah. that i, I, I used to fucking roast him for that dude i used to roast him for that that he was like simping so hard he thought he was gonna get that puss and it's like no dude she's just using you because you're a fucking retard uh the chat's asking if they could sexually harass matt and i'm giving them full permission Wait, what? Yeah. Absolutely. Apparently the chat consent. Apparently the chat wants to sexually harass you, Matt. Why? I have no fucking idea. I'm just letting them do it now. <laughs> you you know if Matt was a woman, you know, you would not be getting away with this, Chris. Yeah, no, I wouldn't exactly. be getting away with it at all. That's why I'm doing it to Matt. Matt's half a man. Matt, do you consent? Sure. Ah! <laughs> he, he consented. I thought we were virtually raped. Uh, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, to everyone asking me if Willie has Medicare as a partner, I'm um, gonna ruon that for Willie right now. No, Medicare has that not dude, responded that to him. Oh, that would be so cool. Hey, hey, hmm? let's. I got an idea. Why don't you uh, play me in chess and like, wait, you 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 got a screen recorder where you can like. Show chess on the. I can't play chess, rep. Damn it! I'm too stupid for chess. It was almost fun. I want somebody to teach me how to play chess. I feel like yeah, I I'm would be good at, at it if I learned at it. If I learned how to I'm do it, I'd be good at it. You got to teach me sometime, hey. Repzilla. I mean, I, I'll fuck around with it. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll teach you a little bit. I want to be get. I want to get so good that I can lose to Botez in two rounds. I just want to talk to her. I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. Hmm? No, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> what you gonna tell me? Come on. I'm not going to. No, you're yeah. not gonna tell me live right now. Come on, you bitch. I know I got to rematch Willie in chess. Oh, did you beat Willie? No, 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 he he beat me. Ah. Barely. I think he's got an aimbot. 
Wow. Aimbot for chess. Okay. Aimbot for chess. Jesus. Dude. Don't be. Don't be lying on my nephew like that. But uh, again, to the chat, Willie Mac shows uh, he has a confirmed Medicare. I did push him to ask J Station because he wanted Public Enemy number one, and J Station hasn't responded Dude, on his if fourth Jay alt Station account. Joins, you that know what they should do? That'd be crazy. Have the fireball at three a.m. That would be funny. That would be <laughs> funny. That would be and the title should be resurrecting J Station's career on nine eleven. Tell Willie to get so tell Dude, calling nine eleven survivors at three a.m. Tell Willie to get tell Willie tell Willie to get Keffles. <laughs> he tried. Yo, he tried. Bro, he that did. would be insane, I was, dude. I was about to DM him. I was like, I already put him on J Station, and then he chose Medicare. He went from J Station to Medicare, and I'm pretty yeah, like Zaylee said, I'm pretty sure I saw him ask Keffles. He asked Keffles, and I believe he asked Susie Lou too. He did, and then I found out Susie Lou had me blocked on Twitter for some ungodly reason. Well, when Salvo hit up uh, Craig to be on, I guess it's a good thing he declined because now he's completely MIA, rip. Yeah, true, 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 true. No, um, someone hasn't, like, hold they on. haven't recommended yet. Someone in my chat you just said to you, Matt, uh, can you choke me? You could choke me with your leg any day. Oh, my God. Who is Man. saying that shit? That is so... That's a strong, Dude, you got, thick you got, leg you there, got, Matt. like, a bunch of, like, one-legged dude, like, kinks up in the chat dude Ew. apparently could... apparently my chat really likes one legged men no this oh. is crust yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is, there is no, hope for you like Matt there is hope for you uh, yeah give me money the, yeah, the I know that's right he said uh, Willie should get Belle Aubrey that would be funny, but Bell would. That would Dude, be good. Bell she Bell stopped really uploading. Long. She hasn't uploaded in like six months. Thank God. Busy being anorexic. Whatever happened. Oh, she Jesus, Lordy. Handle the pressure of what happened. Well, no, like, the the yeah. whole. Is that really what she said? No, no. I, 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 I would assume. I didn't talk to her about it, but it seems to me that what other reason would she have not to be here today in this present? So, so what you're saying is that me and Willie scared her away. Yeah, man. W. W. Girl. Huge w. 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 Dude, huge W. Huge W. She had such a promising yeah. career in politics, too. I mean, she was inspired uh, by Piker and Ethan I don't Klein. see under any other reason why she would have left. I mean. I thought it was funny when she said she was going to be a bread tuber. And I'm like, oh, that's going to go really well for you. Her last video was on Joe Rogan. Go look at her channel. Let's look at her channel real quick. Yeah, yeah, she hasn't uploaded in six months. Dude, really? Still made yeah, dude. dude making, you all just, like, ran off the internet. Oh, I'm bad. Yeah, she would be making, she would be I, making I, videos like, uh, why Abba and Preach would support the KKK or something. Yeah, what? Yeah, her, yeah, you're, you're not even fucking joking. That was six months ago. Joe Rogan, The Rise of the Skeptic. What? She's got oh. other channels, but I don't think she's been. Let me look. Bill oh, Aubrey. those are even less active. She has an Aubrey. ASMR channel. Why am I not surprised? Let's what look. if she came back on like a whole oh, Craig, like, a video on her? Yeah, Craig made a video on her a while back. Um, Revzilla, your your channel's attached to hers. No, no, no. That no. that that was a mistake. Yeah, that was a mistake. I, I'm not like. I was not connected with her in, in any way, like. But at the same time, I'm not gonna sit there and argue over it mm. to people at that time. So it's just like whatever. I didn't really yeah. care. I think it was pretty obvious that it was more of like a her thing. Right. I didn't care that. Well, much. even oh, Willie has said that that, that it was that more was her than you. anything else. Yeah, she was the one that was perpetrating a lot of shit. Um, Hannah's saying that Belle is gone due to health issues, is what she said. Oh. Okay. Well, I hope she's oh, okay. Yeah, well, I hope, I hope she's, she's fine. Better. Yeah, I, I hope yeah. she's. I hope she's physically okay. Hopefully, she doesn't yeah. upload the shit she was uploading when she does come back. But you know, that's just me. Uh, okay, Joe Rogan, the rise of skeptic aesthetic. That's skepticism is an aesthetic. Let me think about that. Is mm. it kind of. Aesthetic? Well, yeah, there was like a bunch of YouTubers really like in the early days. I can like. Well, that was like Sargon. Like, like, yeah, Sargon and shit. Yeah, it was like I can Sargon. Like, like I'm really like skeptic, That's what I'm about. and then somebody can take a picture, and mm -hmm. I guess that can be aesthetic. Yeah, you can do that. Um, <laughs> like I'm really like into it. I'm like, yeah, you up. gotta open up your third eye too. My favorite skeptic on? is Alex Jones, to this day. You know, you know, before all that stuff happened with Net Nobody, he had some interesting theories on life. 
Mm. Yeah, I remember uh, I, I would get in some random calls with him uh, at random times with, with Aiden, actually. And uh, he showed me that you can move large buildings by rotating them on the, the corners of themselves with small pieces of wood. What the Oh, you told me about this. Weird. No, no, no. You actually told me about this, and this is legit. This what is are like you a real talking thing. about? Right, let me see if you sure on the this wasn't yeah. a Minecraft. And you play it on stream. Hold on. Yeah, th this is a real thing. It sounds ridiculous, but it's actually true. I learned this from Net. <laughs> before, before all this stuff happened. Yo, it's so yeah, after you told me about it, because uh, you told me he told you that, and I'm like, this sounds like bullshit. I looked it up, and I'm like, holy shit, it's real. You know, Everybody should go to Lightwave. You freak out, because it's, it's like insane. You know what's funny? Yeah. Destiny's Oblivion, one of the people in my chat just wrote, my favorite skeptic is Nick DiOrio. <laughs> oh I mean, true. <laughs> uh, Y'all remember the skeptic community? It was crazy. Yeah, yeah was that's when uh, Shuon Head was considered a part of the skeptic community for a while. She's yeah, still right. Head. Is it shoe uh, make content together? Yeah, now they're all hippie commies. Shoe on head, uh, fucking Matt Jarbo for a while. I'll admit, shoe is still entertaining. Jeff Holiday, <laughs> some black guy. Yeah, Jeff Holiday, some black guy. Warski wow, did that, that for a bit too. Yeah, I What's think the other guy. Uh, at least it's Chris Reagan. Oh right, Chris, Chris Ray. Reagan. He goes Chris Reagan. <laughs> yeah, I Who remember his uh, harmful was. opinions. Didn't Chris he was one Reagan of them. have a political arc or something? I think he did. Yeah. Oh, Who yeah. remembers harmful opinions? He was one of them. Oh, that was a while ago. Oh, wasn't he um, responsible for like some you know, scandal with like some app? He exposed the candid scandal that yeah, killed the fucking yeah. skeptics. Hey, you guys know what my next arc is? What, what? right? Twitch poll. No. <laughs> oh, my Dude, God. everyone's moving to that. Nick and Augie are moving to that. Now Rebzilla's I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, that's where I'm going. I didn't know they were too, but I've already been. Uh, Hanging out it. with some uh, Twitch Paul people, and let me tell you, it's it's terrible. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm Why are you I doing have a it? lot of. I have a lot of the. I want to get better with my uh, communication and rhetoric. I've I've been studying very much. Uh, like right now, I've been I'm halfway through Aristotle's The Art of Rhetoric. And I've been studying debate tactics, and I, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been I've been owning some people on Twitter. I'm just saying, I'm you know, toot my own horn. But like, you know, Twitter, it's what it is. It is what it is. You know, right. you, if you can't if you can't beat the Twitter trolls, then you ain't gonna beat anybody in like a real debate. So that's can I can hey, I this ask is, you? This rep? is what I was talking about with you, rep. Where I'm loving this based you, rep dude. arc. Yeah, this base rep it's, arc it's, is it's, banger. It's it is what it is, but I'm all all it really is is. I just brushing up on my communication skills. I wanted That's to it. ask Rep if you had an opportunity to debate Hassan, could you do me a favor? I need you to bring up the fact that he's a pussy not fighting Sam Hyde. Yeah, I will Hassan do that. Don't, Hassan uh, don't I know uh, this one dude that I, that I talked to. Uh, Thank you for the ten dollar donation. To debate Destiny at some point. What the fuck Here's is the thing this? about Hassan though? Hassan Dev is a lead, mean string, lead, Charlie Sheen, limousine, Destiny. canteen, trampoline, serpentine, well, ass. See, I've even been studying Wolverine, old submarine, Destiny. unclean, like, nectarine. Destiny, fuck! Destiny. How, did you you know, Bear? How did you rhyme all that shit, Doctor Bear? What the fuck? How did you do that? Debates. I haven't seen those, <laughs> but I, I think, I think how he used to be, he was extremely good at debates. But he's he's for some reason he's not as good as he used to be. He has more conversations now than actual debates. Yeah, his, okay. back when he was like de debate, debate destiny, he 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 was flawless victory with some of them things, man. Like his tactics were so rhetorically just good. They really, they really were. Like he knew all of his fallacies. He he was catching people on them. He was, uh, it was very impressive. And he had this this one really good tactic where, and this helped me a lot too. Um, if you're in a pu like public debates are different from like uh, you talking to people on Twitter or anything like that. But well, in, if, you're in a, if you have an audience watching you, you always you don't. There's going to be a large portion of the audience for the the for you and and then a large portion for the other people. But you're supposed to focus on the 20 percent that are undecided, which kind of narrows it down and gives you like a, a clearer line of sight. Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of what I've been focusing on. So it's not debate related, but if you ever want to see like the funniest Destiny video ever, 
watch the one I posted in general when you got some free time. That shit is funny as shit. Yeah, that, Destiny's got his like moments. super fucking mad. I've been watching Destiny for like ever, dude. There's so much lore with that guy. Yeah, he's like, isn't he like one of the original streamers? Yeah, he was like yeah. one of the first people to like make it like streaming into a job, basically. And then they fucked him. Eh, yeah, much, did they ever much. like talk about exactly why he got kicked off, or is Keffel's just insinuating that it was all her? Like, I, I, I don't remember what that was. was. Just the, uh, credit. Keffels took the credit. She did. But yeah, it, it was Yay. just hate speech. That's the only reason. Yeah, they but gave. Keffels is dishonest. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say you can't really yeah. take her um, word for it. Let, but like I was saying, she acted like she did it, and uh, then she basically perpetuated a rumor about Destiny that he's apparently raped women no, because no, he, he he argues she, she she was she was just yeah basically suggesting that because. He had commented on stealthing that that meant that he like he raped said, people he, he because said. she does she somehow thought that like he had admitted to stealthing people it's like no what he was saying is that like stealthing's bad but it's not on the level of rape that it was the argument he was making the reason that argument came up was because it turns out that Ke keffels had uh sexual relations with people without uh disclosing that she was trans and mm -hmm. i think he said that she was pretty much raping people I would have to see the clip. Which is a hot take, yeah. I mean, I think like, I think you should disclose that if, if you're. I, if you're you like, should, yeah. I don't know. If, I don't. I don't think I'd call it. But I don't, I, yeah, I don't I, it, but like you, you should you definitely, you definitely should disclose it. it it's, it's it would misleading. be disclosed to do it. Like, like, man, because like you're having a relationship, you know you're having a relationship with somebody like i'm not saying like you know your average tinder hookup is going to be like for life but usually like when you have these kind of like relationships with people um you, you want to see future with somebody and it, it, that in, sometimes involves children and not saying that uh, transgender people cannot have kids but some people want to experience it the natural way fully you know what i'm saying not like through like uh artificial insemination or anything like that or or whatever the other way is that, you know the scientifically they do it where they take the egg and they implant yeah. it yeah um, in vitro yeah and, and, and if you don't disclose if you're not honest and upfront about yourself then it's like dang what else are you not what else are you lying about you know it's it's just it this it doesn't sound like something you should do yeah it's just not a good idea honestly yeah do you, you should you should be upfront about that but is it rap mm, i don't think so hmm. but i haven't thought a lot on it i might need me like a good 30 minute set down with a piece of paper and a pen and yeah. i'll drink coffee and i'll figure it out you know? that, that's a whole situation that you would really have to like sit down and yeah. really analyze. But yeah, main main point is is the those two conversations took place, and uh, she she was insinuating that uh, Destiny was or accused him of rape, but then she backpedaled on it. Which mm -hmm. is which is her tactic: say something wild. Once she gets enough hate, backpedals on it, changes the narrative. Yeah. And it's a, that that is a, a a policy called ad hoc. It's where you. Uh, you present your argument and then after things have developed then you go back and like mm -hmm. you you know you can see it in hindsight and then you start adding things in and it doesn't work because you can't do that you can't explain it better after the fact it's just right Bosch does the same thing he'll say something like he used to do this a lot and um he'll say something very like obviously like from what it seems from the outside very insane but then when you go talk to them on stream, he'll walk it back a bit and just explain more of his opinion. I mean, in a perfect world, we would all be millionaires. We just go play the lottery. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that that that, that kind of highlights how fallacious or fallacious or whatever the fuck I'm, I'm southern, whatever that word is. Yeah. How uh, just not correct that, that logical thinking is. Right. But you know. And the... <clears throat> Jesus Christ. One person, and like Twitch politics is like very interesting to me. And there was this one person a while back, Nick it's made a terrible. video on, and it was uh, the Josie person. Like he clipped a live stream of it. And I believe that from what they were saying, I, from what I remember, it was like almost insane. Well, Twitch Polk is fun, but what, why I say it's terrible is like there's so, most 
the majority of the people that are in there, they are so gassed up on their own, just their own self that they, it's like they're talking just to hear themselves. I think even Keemstar brought up this point the other day like these and i'm not saying that this has anything to do with anybody from recent streams or anything like that it's not what i'm saying um but i've witnessed these people and they'll sit there and they'll just talk and talk and talk and let me tell you they got the best vocabularies that you've ever heard i mean like you're like damn those are such impressive words i don't even know if you're telling the truth like it's insane like uh I sat pseudo intellectual internet bullshit. I yeah, can't and, fucking and they're, stand. They're full. Of, they're full of shit. They really are, yeah. and they're just they're just talking because they love the sound of their own voice, and right. you can see it. Well, you can see it. They're and, they're, and, and, and they're trying. People talk yeah. about like this at the same time, and you're just like, and you're watching. If you're a normal person, you're watching. You're just like, damn, this is terrible. Like it's like this is making me nauseous. But like, you're still watching it because it's like one of those things. Right. It's like this is making me sick, but I can't take my eyes away from it. Well, the thing Most is, is that they don't turn even around. believe the shit they say. Well, yeah, and they they use big words to try and confuse dumb people to make them think they're smart. Is really how yeah. they handle it, and they go, "Whoa, well, all these people think my opinions are right. Let me start tweeting these out and start gaining a following based on that." And it just makes the situation worse because your points aren't really ever valid. And if anything, yeah. it makes the situation more muddied. And your points in, like an example in like Heffel's with the Kiwi Farms thing, it just makes it worse. Her views on things make it worse. The conversation gets more muddy. The conversation starts to be fire versus fire. And then next thing you know, it's like, well, Destiny did this and Kiwi Farms did this. But th these things I'm doing, not that bad. Well, the only thing you got to do when you come in contact with these types of people is start asking questions. When they say, when they say oh, well, uh this group of this and this percentage of this and then you just be like oh where'd you get those statistics where where did you where'd you come up with that is that true where where did that come from you just right. question and then they're like oh uh and they get real quiet well because i saw you and thoughts thoughts and opinions on twitter i saw that you guys uh going back and forth on something that kiwi farms might have found um and i think you said you could, it was uh it was a factual thing that they posted about uh something about the hormone treatment that she was offering Posting thing. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. From what I've seen, there has been a lot of screenshots that have came out about that situation, about like the HRT giving it to minors. But it's a it's a long situation to get into. Yeah, honestly. it's gonna it's gonna take well, here, forever. I was just curious. You no. Know, here's the only thing you need to know. There's an archive, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, it's obviously it's the Kiwi Farms thread on her, um, which I cannot say go to because it does dead name. You gotta be really careful about that. You don't no, do that. no, 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 not just because it dead names. It doxes people. Okay, it doxes people too. So I didn't even know that. So, but there, um, it, but there's a link in there, um, that goes directly to an archive Twitter page that has like legitimate replies that verifies that those those are in fact real, real uh, tweets. And then that's when you're like, oh, man, this is real. That's she actually said these things. This is actually a thing. And then it's like disgusting. Yeah, that's that's a whole thing I've been trying to. I don't know. I've been putting off like investigating the situation involving her because I, like you said, Brett, you, it's, you, long. You, yeah, yeah. it's long. You don't want to you don't want to get hate from these yeah. people. But like, oh, yeah, you don't. Like, but, it's, I, I, but it's a conversation I, that needs to be had. I'm always going to. Yeah, it is. It is. Somebody's just like. like yeah. politics is uh fun to watch but it's not fun to get involved in honestly no god no i would rather um, put a load of shotgun in my mouth than go into did twitch politics kiffles a while back okay death noodles i'm just kidding <laughs> uh, Eddie in chat said asking twitch call people questions about facts causes them causes them to completely break down yeah, that's what i'm talking about yeah they're fucking androids they can't yeah. handle like actual all questions you do, yeah all you gotta do is ask them questions well it's like the it, turing test <laughs> here, yeah. here here's the thing and this is funny so, you at you start asking questions, which you're supposed to do. This is one thing that Destiny was good at. You start asking questions about, like, uh, why do you think this, or where did you get this, and then they start breaking down. But if you get if you notice the group of Twitch Paul people, the regulars, they don't do this. They they have a panel, and none of them are asking questions. They're asking verification mm -hmm. statistics because none of them want to do that. They just want to go in circles and talk for eight hours, and then their commu their their viewers eat it up and. The, I, I guess that's cool, but you're not accomplishing. But there's anything. yeah, there's no progress being made in the conversation. But, but that's but that's that that's that side of the internet. That's what they do. They just sit there and do a giant circle jerk and make no progress. Yeah, so it's, it's a really it's prime stake for you to go in there and learn how to 
debate and everything. I mean, that, that's why Destiny thrived in that position. That's why he flourished, you know. I still think so, he's one of the best, especially the fact I, – and I don't like Nick Fuentes. It's not an endorsement of Nick Fuentes from what I'm about to say. But him going on Destiny stream and him and Destiny talking – no other streamer is going to do that. No, you're not going to see Hassan do that. You're not going to see any of the Twitch politics people like have somebody on there that's going to genuinely challenge their points or be a controversial figure that they can have a conversation with. You know what I the mean? The reason is because they still have a platform. You know? Yeah. You don't wanna, you yeah. Know? I'm going to head out. I'll talk to you all later. Yeah, Zip Zap. It was, it was lovely meeting you. Zip Zap. It was lovely meeting you. We, we, we are going to wind this down soon. I do have work in four hours. <laughs> Yeah. Well, then get offline. What are you doing? Right. I'm having a great time with everybody. I don't give a fuck about sleep. <laughs> um, Excuse me, sir. You need sleep if you're going to work. Have a good time, too. Yeah, I'll, I'll, just... I'll eventually go. I'm playing forward. Candy Crush while I'm, um, while I'm yeah. talking to y'all. Well, no, I like talking to Rebzilla. You know, it's, some, it's somebody I've always he found died. interesting. I found him interesting for a while. What, Rebzilla's I. What, what do you find interesting about Rebzilla? I don't know. Just, the, just I've, I've watched your content for a while. Naturally, I'm going to be curious about who you are behind the screen and everything like that. So naturally, I take a vested interest in people that I find interesting. Like Matt Pitt, I found him interesting. Him and Tommy for years. Xylee, I found recently, and she's interesting. Nerdy, me and Nerdy became friends because Genevieve Simmons called us out. Um, and I only, I only really associate with uh, people that I find genuinely interesting. So it's cool having Aww. a conversation with you. Yeah. Um, yeah, if there's any questions that you want to ask me about anything, yeah. I am from book. I do not care to talk about any I never have I know. cared to talk about anything. Um I would say in the past, uh I the reason I've been making such big strides in my development as far as like the knowledge of like communication and like learning how to do that hmm. is because before and I'm not using this as an excuse, but I believe that like the people that you have in your life are like ingredients to your like mm -hmm. mental health in a way. And the people I had in my life at that time, they sucked real, real bad. Yeah. And they gave me the worst advice, you know? Yeah. And now they're, 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 they've been gone since like March, you know? And it's like, it's just been me. And, uh, I've just been feeling a lot better mental health wise. And I've been, cl you know, closer to my family and like, you know, real talk shit, you know? Well, no, yeah. that's, that's, that's beneficial is because you're actually being, you're having time to yourself. You're having time to yourself, but at the same time, you're surrounding yourself with people that know you and aren't a toxic, toxic influence on your life. And that's something that not a lot of people understand is like, you need to cut the toxicity out, even though if you've known them for like 10, 15, 20 years or whatever, you have to cut them out if they're going to constantly be a problem for you. Cause that degrades your own mental health. Yes. Uh, the person that afflicted me the most, uh, I didn't even know that they uh, had that much of an effect on me until they were gone. And then it took it, and it wasn't even right away. It was like that happened in March, and then it took April, May. It took like middle of June before I started feeling better. And then I looked back on it, I was like, oh man, I was, I was fucked up three different ways from Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Isn't like, it weird <laughs> when when it happens like that that you don't even realize it until after they're gone? You're like, right. holy shit! It snaps yeah. you back to reality. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've, I've, the person that I'm talking about was like the worst. I'm not gonna say their name, but of like course. the person I'm talking about, they were the worst person I ever had in my life, ever. Everyone's oh, got gosh. one. Everyone's got one. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad that they're gone and you're doing better, dude. That's all that fucking matters. I really appreciate that. I, I'm happy that they're gone too. You know, I don't even, I don't even hate them, but it's just like it's they need to get some fucking help. They need, to get yeah. to, they need to get their shit together is basically it at the end of the day. Yeah, I, I'm never going to ever talk to them again. If they ever try, I swear to God. Good I, job, I, I, will, it, I just It's terrible. I don't want to ever see them again. Of course. Well, guys, I'm, I'm going to be getting off tonight. Uh, I appreciate everyone that came out. Matt, I'm going to fucking yell at you in private tomorrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to yell at you in private. You, pussy. you son you of a bitch. You don't even do it in public. Nah, nah. Because nah, nah, I want to I wanna help Matt out with this stupid shit. So I want to figure out how to get this fucking settled and done forever. Um, Xylee, Rebzilla, thank you guys for coming in. You're more than welcome to call into the streams any fucking time. Same as Matt. This Discord is open to everybody. I genuinely appreciate it. Um, this was a fun stream. I, I've been streaming for like... I think about six hours today. So <laughs> thank you to everyone that stuck around this entire time. And thank you guys for coming out tonight. Thank you for thank having you me. For having us. Of course, guys. Yep. Yeah, it was, man. Bye. Appreciate it.
Right. Have a great night, guys. All right. Later. All right, everybody. Thank you all for coming out tonight. It is really fucking cool that Revzilla is in the Discord now and all these people. Uh, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, the big takeaway today. Um, I'm going to end this on a big takeaway for uh, because we got distracted with the dentist thing and this panel and things, things kind of spiraled out of control in the most uh, <laughs> interesting way that I could imagine. Um, Please make sure that you guys try and support Punk God as uh, – not Punk God, uh, Pack God as much as possible. Pack God really needs the support right now. He doesn't have the communication that he used to have. He doesn't have the connections that he used to have. And if you guys have any opportunity to tag other creators, let them know. Don't harass them. Don't DM them. But if they're saying, oh, it's a slow slow news day, you know, I don't know what to talk about. If you ever hear that on stream, be like, hey, why don't you talk about the Pack God leg thing? Because this story needs to be brought up more. That two friends that were best friends, best friends, one of them stole a channel from him. One of them stole a channel and took his livelihood away. And we need justice for Pack God. So thank you to everybody coming out tonight. Thank you to everybody that stuck around. I know it was a lot of fun at the end. But thank you for sticking through the rest of the stream when it wasn't as... Um, I guess chaotic and entertaining. It was more on the lines of getting to the bottom of the situation involving Pat God. And I, I really, I really thank everybody for supporting him. Uh, make sure that you do everything you can, you know, once in a while, tweet out support for the guy. He, he really needs the support. So thank you again to everybody that came out mods. You guys are fucking champs for sticking with me all night tonight. You, Hannah, especially because I know her time difference is out of, is completely different than mine. Uh, so thank you everybody for coming out tonight. And I will be seeing you guys maybe in the next few days, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. I don't know. I streamed a shit ton of times today, so I might put it off until Friday. Just keep an eye out in the Discord. A lot of you are in there now. Um, there's also Twitter, and you guys will also see it on the community tab. Again, thank you, everybody, for coming out tonight, and I will see you all next time. Uh-oh. I broke something. <laughs>